Just you and I Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us You and I Wait, wait, uh, well, wait, hang on. Yeah, because we have Sam here. Here's your, uh, just, uh, just the, there's a whole fucking bunch of us. Yeah. You and I and you and him and who the hell's like, what's the smell in the corner? What is that? I don't know. Your dog shit in here again? Oh my God. Steve, hey, Steve, here's your shot of brown sugar bourbon and a water back. But when did we turn into a bar? We don't fuck around here. Anyway, let's sit down for the conversation with Mr. Stephen Eaton on Around the Rail. Welcome to Around the Rail with your hosts, Aaron Carlson, Charles Lawson, and Samantha Hanna. What I was going to say. Yes. What were you going to say? I was going to say is you would throw your leg up here because you're a little antsy about having sexual, you know, relations Ooh. with someone. Well, I always enjoy sexual relationship. But I relations, mean. Relations. Sexual relationships? Yeah. But a little more regular is what I'm saying. Well, that's always fun. Yeah. You know, except. But uh, if you can act. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. But, you know, that's one of the things that came up today because tonight, you know, because tonight is, this, this is going to be broadcasting later but today is my anniversary oh is that why the card's up there it says happy anniversary, oh. man. Thank happy, you. Anniversary. happy anniversary and some of the guys at work were being guys for a second they're like you know it's one night the one night a year you get to anticipate getting some and i'm like this is the one night a year i don't anticipate anything because you know it's not about me so it's like 364 like, oh, other days of the year you're, you're it's, anticipating it's, it. it's right. that night you're gonna right give it's a night i don't anticipate because yeah. yeah. you know that's rude <laughs> it's rude and i don't anticipate i'm just hopeful um is it rude, Sam? Do you think that's rude on an anniversary as a woman? Well, how are you going to bring the, me into this? I just want to know a woman's the perspective. Only female yeah. perspective. Yeah. You know. But I'm different from most females. In what way? In a lot of ways. You don't have a, you don't have a dick. <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> okay. So I feel most days. I thought he was. I thought your dick was sitting to your left. It is. Yeah. yeah oh, that's my it. asshole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what is your dick on the right? You have to look around the other side. <laughs> yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Around the Real. Oh. Wait, let him swallow first. Yes. Yes. All right. Steve. I'm the one who almost spit. I know you did. Now, now I put Steven on everything because that's your IMDb tag. That's stuff true. Like that. So I hope that's okay. But I understand you go by Steve. And I, Aaron just needs to stop drinking because he just spilled the water all over the table. No, I didn't. Oh, it has a cap on it. No, you just put it in a weird spot. I never have anything there before. So I just set it so, down. Yeah. It's okay. Anyway, what we were talking about was <laughs> Mr. Eaton. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Uh, yes, uh, I do go by Steve almost exclusively. I think the only two people able to get away with it regularly are my mother and my wife. So, and it's usually when she's either one is pissed, <laughs> really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, typically it's Steve. Stephen right. James. I, I get, oh, oh yeah. man, that sounds bad. I know, but it's it looks so much better than Steve Eaton. So I put it on everything, especially business related. So oh, that's yeah. the, that is literally the only reason why I hate looking at it. Even <laughs> I'm not saying this about you guys right now because it's on the thing in front of me but i'm gonna like stop Steve go Eaton. ahead that's yeah. fun steve that's, Eaton does sound good i mean that fun. sounds good but steven does look like it should be a little more distinguished yeah i guess I get, I get you pull saying. up on imdb steven james, james eaton. eaton yeah, yeah. it's because uh, steve eaton apparently was a 70s recording guitarist and he took it so oh, I, yeah. Okay. So, so that was Steven. Yeah. See, you should have went with Chuck and not Charles because Chuck had somebody take all his credits from the Outrider movie behind us. Are you serious? On Google. If you Googled Charles Lawson for the Outrider, this guy comes up from England somewhere. Yeah, he's an old English actor. And, yeah. and to be fair, you created my first IMDb. Oh, profile. oh yeah. I you forgot. put me in as Charles. <laughs> That's true because I pretty much do everything but he's uh, around here. So. He's an elderly person, though. <laughs> Correct. I mean, he's, I mean, he's, he's going to die. 60s. You can take all of his now. No, You'd be like, I point. starred in this film when I was two. Yeah. Oh, hey. my... See that, Chuck? Yeah, yeah I've always, I always looked older. Shit. I actually helped you then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I hadn't moved to the colonies yet. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie. Stevie. 
Hello, everybody. Yes. Welcome. Thank you, buddy, for showing up today. No, thank you for having me. It's my very first podcast, so oh, I, I, I'm not kidding. It's like a bucket list thing, dude. Awesome. This, I'm super happy. We Come get to pop his podcast yeah. cherry. But what's it's super Sam is great at popping cherries. <laughs> this is brutal, though. This is like you know being a virgin and then having some big black guy as your first. You know, this show is like that big black guy. It's best Aaron, to Aaron's do with not, friends. but the show is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would hurt. Yeah, Aaron's definitely not. <laughs> um, well, welcome, buddy. Thank um, you. So we're going to get to learn about you a little bit today. <laughs> so we we got your YouTube stuff we saw oh, a little bit of. God bless you. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I know. He's a nice dude. <laughs> Wait, I say God bless you. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, because, because, right, because I we don't know mean you. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, you're like going and I'm an a atheist, so it's oh. like, it, you know, it, 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 it means a whole oh, different thing. Yes, yeah. I get it. Yeah. And, and it sounded, I've listened to the story, show. I'm sorry. Charles. Yes. <laughs> and it <laughs> sounded way more genuine coming out of your mouth, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear something genuine right now? Oh, fuck uh, off. Fuck off. <laughs> Ah, uh, friends. <laughs> oh, we love each other. We do this all the time. All right. So, okay. So, Steve, yes. tell us a little bit about what you do, who you are. Uh, I am a uh, filmmaker nurse combo at the moment. Um, I started when I wasn't 41 uh, <laughs> doing, doing uh, you know, a little bit of film work and I'm um, trying to make it in LA where I was, I, I'm born in Long Beach originally. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, and um, I was dumb because I moved away and then oddly enough got more film work. I moved to like Colorado and then got a couple oh, okay. of jobs out there and then cool. made it back around. Okay. And, yeah, um, but I worked on a, a couple of films um, that you can find on my IMDb. Um, one was Assassin's Code, and that was the one that I found because my screenwriting teacher, oddly enough, came to the town. My screenwriting teacher... This is really long. I'm sorry. No, no. Uh, my screenwriting, it's it's my a radio sc- show. Go ahead and talk. No shit, right? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm not used to being asked to actually keep talking. Um, <laughs> Shut so, up. Yeah, I know. That's, that's the norm. Um, <laughs> Me too, but I never stop. Right? Shut up, Aaron. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I was in L.A., uh, Long Beach, uh, doing screenwriting class, uh, and my teacher, oddly enough, moved or came to make a movie up in Denver which wasn't terribly far away from where I was living in, in Colorado Springs. And I was like, hey, you should let me do some shit on your movie. And I did. And then kind of moved back to LA again, trying to uh, make a few more movies, which I also did. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was like, I'm tired of being broke. So I became a nurse and moved the hell out of LA. Yeah. Um, I never actually lived in LA. I should always say Long Beach. Um, if you've ever been there, it's cooler. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, LA's kind of shit so it's, rough, <laughs> it's dude. really rough um yeah uh and yeah so i i made a couple of uh, films and then i came up and then i kind of took a total sabbatical just trying to not be broke all the time for a few years and then in the last year or so i've been trying to actually meet people in the area and start doing stuff again good, um, good for yeah. you yeah that's awesome yeah, you're okay. obviously a very talented in other oh, words, he you. started stalking us, and now he's here. <laughs> I totally in my did. Fucking house. Don't don't act like we didn't stalk him back. Yeah, right? So stop. Yeah. Like y'all saw my YouTube. Yeah, um, we saw yeah. your shit. Yeah. But does he not have a lot in common? We have a really good friend named Ryan, and he's also a filmmaker. He also come comes from Colorado, and he mm-hmm. also is bald, and he also is a nurse. Yep. So you guys have a lot that's in common. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you forgot that's one what? big thing. They're both what? white too. Oh yeah. No, no, that's white. not that no, big. White. Shit. Coming white. from Colorado, <laughs> that's not surprising. White. Yeah. 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 It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Um, no, that is that's awesome. And oh, I'm and not... you're an atheist. That's also. Oh yeah, he is too. Yeah. You know what? That's that was... I was going to ask you that then. Uh-huh. Just when I found out you're a nurse, do you think in the medical field a lot of doctors and nurses and people like that who know the science? Are atheists? You can't put doctors into that because they oh. think they are gods. Oh, Not all nurses, them. however, no, could they don't make more yeah. sense. Yeah. How do they believe in a fucking god no. if they don't believe Let in God? Let him answer the question. No, oh, yeah, sorry. Sh- nurses off. think okay. they're god too. Um, no, <laughs> um, no, you know, I, I think they're actually much more of faith. Like I'm pretty out about it, but I'm I. Uh, it's odd because I'm I'm not what you'd call an anti theist. I guess like I was brought up Christian. Mm-hmm. I still subscribe mostly to the tenets of it you know at least the version of it that i have in my head 
Yep. Um, and so I have no disrespect for anybody who's who is of faith whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think a lot of them are probably religious yeah. people, like most people in general. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, everybody, interesting. I think, yeah, everybody... you would think that the science would, you know, kind override of override it a little well, bit. Well, I mean, it honestly, it's a different perspective. Yeah. You know, I, well, you know? I, I think like if it was deeper science, I think if you were doing like engineering work mm -hmm. or no, that's that's wrong. Like biology work where you were studying like long term evolution oh, and yeah. that kind of thing, you might find more of it where you're like, I don't know if I can believe this shit. Anymore. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> right. And, yeah. uh, but but uh, that said, like when you're, when you're becoming a nurse, like they're not really teaching you about. I mean, sure, you have to take biology class and that kind of thing, but they're not going like intense science. They're sure. like, please don't kill somebody with this medication. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't 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 give this person this thing unless they have this thing. And yeah, yeah I think I would, if I was in that field, I would have a tendency to be even more against religion because just seeing people sick all the time or dying mm. or how how you know easy you know and vulnerable people are. Yeah. I'd be like after a while going, well, I used to believe in God, but God, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, you know, well, yeah. look at these people I mean, are just suffering yeah. and dying. How do you allow this to happen, bro? Chuck He's supposed be... to be the almighty power and his resume sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Uh, I think it's like with most people, though. I mean, death's just I, oddly enough, like, thank you for cueing me. Uh, my the work that I'm doing now, Universal Opera is more it's kind of a treatise on death okay. and life and rebirth and all that kind of stuff anyway. But I think like, it's perfectly fine to look at a religious, I mean, literally it's kind of built into most religions, the life and death mm -hmm. circle and all of that. So, I mean, I, I think there's plenty of people when you're watching somebody, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're fine. Table. Don't worry about it. Um, okay? uh, you end up, if you see somebody dying, which, you know, you do a lot as a nurse, mm -hmm. you, you might think, well, this is shit. This sucks. This person's just dying here, miserable and in pain. Yeah. Or you could easily think the same way and think of it from a religious perspective and be like, well, they're moving on, right. you know, or, or whatever. Um, even so, if you're so not they religious. Won't be in pain anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and actually, even if you, even if you, you're an atheist, which that's most of the time where I get to, like I work a lot with hospice and elderly oh, wow. people. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's usually where I end up with by the end. It's one of the reasons it's not usually as much of a bummer. You're like, they're not trapped in their bodies anymore. Right. Yeah. That's cool. That's, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's what they And thought. that is cool. When you're yeah. old and you're shitting your pants. Yeah. Fuck, I don't want to be trapped in my body. I anymore. would rather <laughs> not. <laughs> I would rather not live several uh, years of my life shitting my pants. Are you so. supposed Same. to be old when shitting your pants? Yeah, Chuck does that now. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Could yeah. Be. Yeah. You need to pray harder. <laughs> or stop so, getting that C. diff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit. Oh, man, that stuff's the worst. Yeah, I know. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, he knows, too, just like Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. When Ryan was here and we talked about yeah, he was like, he oh, yeah, scooted cool. over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, fucker, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> no one wants that shit. Dude, that scares COVID out of the room. I know, right? <laughs> Somebody's like, them. yeah, nurses, it's really funny. You get two things. You either get the people who are like, fuck it, I don't even care anymore. Mm -hmm. Or you get the ones who are like, did you drink a Corona? I gotta <laughs> stay away from you for the rest of my life. Um, you know, I'm not paid to be near you. I'm not going to get sick. Oh, um, man. Anyway, on that lovely note. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a hell of a segue. Sorry. Did you have, did you have C. Diff? Yeah, he did. That sucks. <laughs> No, so no bad. shit. Oh, no, Sam. No oh, shit. Is Sam broken? Yeah, she broke. She okay. Was, uh, she don't need a minute. Might as well turn her down for a little bit. Yeah, I'll turn her down a little bit. Um, she's not going to come back for a minute. She's uh, no, yeah, I did. Uh, at the end of last year, I honestly was scared for my life on New Year's Eve because was because I had everything coming out of every orifice on my body, mm. sitting downstairs in the itty bitty little bathroom and screaming for my wife because I didn't have things to catch enough stuff. Oh, Dude. And that was the scare awesome. scariest I've ever been personally. I've been scared for things happening to my kids and everything oh. else, but that was the first time that, yeah. that isn't, affected me the most. Isn't yeah. it ironic that I was singing that song on the way here? <laughs> C-Diff? <laughs> Sorry, no. There's a C-Diff no. song? Diarrhea. <laughs> no, I was, it's the best. I was singing that on the way here. I got a seven-year-old. That one plays a lot in my house. Dude, this is <laughs> the best commercial. Is that not the best commercial ever? They need to pay that guy big bucks. Hitting that note that way. <laughs> Diarrhea. It sounds so cool. It sounds so good. It just. It Making just diarrhea worked. sexy again. Oh, man. <laughs> Ducks commercials are always I'm so bad. Shitty bad. <laughs> yes. 
Why well do we done, always Chuck. talk about poop? I don't know. Because why. we're talking. Because we talk to nurses, and nurses. people who deal with oh, yeah. lots of shit. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. in multiple fashions, not oh, just poop. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or weird. like I'm coming over and scooping your poop in your in your yard. It's always something about deucers. Yeah. It's always. Yeah. <laughs> we always end up talking about, about somebody's penis and crap. Yeah. Let's not bring up that. <laughs> okay. I didn't say see you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, my God. All right. So you mentioned Universal Opera. Mm -hmm. Okay. So give us a little bit about what that project was about. It is something I'm actively working on. Uh, it is a uh, massive sci-fi project. Uh, it's... Meant to be, does anybody know what rotoscoping is? Yes. yes. I, 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 it's it's yep. a nightmare. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it's a bitch. Yeah, um, I'm glad I'm glad these guys finally I know. kind of enjoy it. I do too. Rotoscoping? Yeah. We're not talking about trimming your shit really close and tight down there. We're talking about <laughs> actually on a screen. <laughs> Sam, you remember when I... Is that what they call that? I don't... I just call that cropping. Yeah. But... Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. No wonder you're so good at... I forgot the photo app now. <laughs> yes. Samantha, do you remember when I'd sit at the computer? Photoshop. Samantha J. <laughs> oh my God, she is gone, dude. Um, she <laughs> drank that really fast. <laughs> oh yeah, she did. Cheers, Sam. We. Anyway, I'm not even going to worry about explaining rotoscoping to Sam right now. <laughs> oh my God, I can't remember. That yeah. was what I asked. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. so rotoscoping <laughs> is the really long form of like a hundred people spending time. Uh, drawing over film. Ralph Bakshi was big into it. Like, uh, if you've ever seen the movie Fire and Ice mm -hmm. or Lord of the Rings. The yes, I did loved those when I was a kid. Me too. God, and they were scary. It, they were. Well, and, and that was part of it. Like, I watched a lot of it, and I'm like, I, I could probably do better storytelling than that. Um, and it was like the the style was cool, and I enjoyed that. But it was so all over the place. Like yeah. sometimes they would look like. Uh, they were photocopied. Sometimes they'd be like looking like Disney uh, esque kind of pieces. Anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I wanted to do that, and I realized I don't have the people to do that. So I decided to try and figure out. There's a cartoon filter in After Effects, and I'm like, okay, how far can I push the video, and then use the cartoon filter at the end yeah. to really kind of make it pop. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I was like, okay, if you're gonna do like a Star Warsian space opera kind of thing then that's probably the only way i could do it would be to make a bunch of shitty phone costumes and then make them look better with cartoon filter and all that right okay um yeah so that, that that's it and then it's just a very 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 large story uh of a dude being on earth when there's a uh a alien invasion and then it's figuring out what happens from there and then it goes very weird okay you know um yeah, so that's the basics. There you go. Okay, so it, let me just make it, make it. I want to make sure I got it right. So please, because I, I didn't get to. I, I watched a few of the little clips and teasers, and it looks like these are animated draw mm -hmm. drawings that you did, and with three D movements and whatnot. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, originally, and I think if you saw most of the pieces that are on there now, mm -hmm. they were actually done when I was going to do it in more of a what they call motion comic style. There you go. So I got yes. rid of that because okay. I started doing it and I realized that it was actually going to take me, I, the whole point of it was I'm like, okay, I can't do it rotoscope. It's going to take too fucking long. Right. I will do it. Motion comic. Cause I can do that by myself. It just okay. may take me 20 years. Yeah. Uh, and then I figured it out on paper and I'm like, it's going to take me 80 years. Right. So I better do the rotoscoping <laughs> at least if I can figure out how to make that work. And I've been trying to figure out how to make that work. Okay. I gotcha. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of, how much time have you spent in the After Effects world, like with animation and that kind of thing? Have you been doing it a long time? My entire, yeah. Okay. Any, all of the time where I've been working in film, so since, shit, uh, 2000? Okay. Probably. Ooh, shit, that's when we started. Yeah. yeah. And so that's when that's when I started. I used to work at a commercial company that used to make like, you know, the... the uh, we, I think the best spot I ever did, I did a Toyota spot where we went through a wall and I was all like, oh my God, I'm a fucking filmmaker now. Right. Um, but most of the time it'd be like, you know, Sunday, 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 uh, <laughs> those kind of videos. Yeah, we used to make a sure. shit ton of those. Yeah. And um, so that's where, that's where I started working with it a bunch. Okay. Uh, was back, you know, then. I gotcha. Okay. Um, did you take classes to learn how to do it? You learned on your own? I took a class. So I did 
news and television mm -hmm. in college, which I didn't graduate. Um, Me neither. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that seems yeah, to be a regular. I didn't graduate. I didn't no. fucking go, but I didn't graduate. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I really didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't graduate high school. Even... <laughs> <Sam>. <laughs> yeah, but you like me, baby. You got a working man's PhD. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. School yeah. of hard knocks. Yeah, I had a full ride yeah. scholarship too. When I was like a fucking dummy. You, you didn't finish with that? Oh, I'm so. No. I don't mean to. No, I, no, yeah. no, it's fine. No, yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah. what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, are seriously. You talking about? Yeah, I did. I did. Full I, ride. Did. Oh. Full ride football scholarship, and I. Yeah. I've left my uh, junior. No, sophomore year. <laughs> sophomore. Year. <laughs> Yeah, right after football season, my sophomore year, I was just like, "Fuck this!" I'm out. Ah, fuck them. Um, yeah, I know, but I was just—I always wondered, like, what the fuck? What? Yeah, what happen? that's like all—it's a different life, <laughs> you know. All humans end up going like, "Oh, well, if I could just go back in time and do such and such," and we just don't get to do that. I so, know, but that's why some of those movies are really cool. Yeah, right? yeah, like Family, Family Man. Remember that with Nicolas Cage? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I fucking love that movie. Nobody will watch it with me in the holiday season. I watch that one by myself. Why? Usually on Christmas Day when everybody's running around doing shit, I just sit down and watch that one. That's a great movie. I love that movie. That's a good. I movie. haven't seen it in years. And I it's not just it because Tay Leone is dancing in the shower naked. No, it has nothing. To do with it. It's not a bad scene though. No, no. Again, remember that whole <laughs> leg on the table earlier in our conversation? Yeah. 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 Three hundred and sixty-four days a year. <laughs> ho ho ho! <laughs> What's she doing now? I don't think can't think of anything. Uh, I don't even know. Know. She did Madam Secretary up until I think 2019. Oh, I think is when that went. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, she was on TV. Yeah, last movie the I saw. The was, boob uh, tube. Go figure. Oh, boob tube. Right. Mm -hmm. Back to sex. Sorry. Okay. I can't remember the question I was answering. Um, well, fuck it. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> no, we were talking about uh, college. Learning dropping, about dropping out of college. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so I, I learned a little bit when I was in news, and I was like the graphics guy for the news. I keep kicking the table. It's okay. I'm sorry. okay. Stop doing um, that. Yeah, I will try. <laughs> um, so I did it there doing graphics for news, and then I then I learned a ton by myself just grabbing yeah. a book. And I yeah. think that's how most software people work. It's like, yes, you'll learn a little bit. You'll learn the basics, but you're going to learn a ton just digging around. Digging around it. and doing it, yeah, and yeah. seeing what, what you get. When you yeah. play around with every little fucking thing in these programs, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Um, well, okay, that's cool, man. Mm -hmm. So, what got you started in all this shit anyway? I mean, why, I, why movies? Why do you want to tell these stories? Oh, I love them. They're just, I, I, I've loved films since I was, like, the very first memory I ever had was, like, I would have imagined it'd be, like, 1981, 1982, and I was watching uh, Empire Strikes Back, you know, mm -hmm. that really cool shot with the... Uh, Darth Vader when he's like in this little bubble and it closes. Oh yeah, and it closes. Yeah, yeah. Literally my earliest memory, and then the next one snaps forward like nine years because um, I don't remember anything else. I but, gotcha. Uh, yeah, uh, and I remember I saw Batman, Batman when I was like nine years old. Eighty nine, Batman. Ninety nine, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna do that shit. I'm absolutely going to do that, and it just didn't stop for thirty plus years. Good for you. Yeah. See, that's the good shit. I love this movie stuff too, the same way you do. I I never thought about making movies like I said before in the show. I started with writing stories and just comics drawing and then trying to find a way a, a a platform to express those ideas, I guess. Until I found out you could actually do this on a fucking computer. Mhm. Mm and now yeah. everybody tells me, even my daughter yesterday said what you say all the time, Sam. But you should just sell your stories and write them and just sell them. And if it I, were only that, easy. I know. Yeah. If it only was, <laughs> yeah. My it wife would... tells me the same thing. She's like, "All those screenplays, you're never going to do anything with. You like, you should just send them off to people." I'm like, "Ooh, honey, yeah, Ooh. <laughs> it's, Ooh. it's hard." Thank you for the compliment, but you know, yeah. I don't have I don't have the Rolodex. Yeah, um, <laughs> all, I, all I have in my life is a bunch of owls. Who? Yeah, Ooh. It's, it's super hard <laughs> to figure it out. Who to, who you could even trust, or and 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 beyond that, who the fuck are you going to sell it to? And if you could sell it, how does that work? Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot to it. And then and then yeah. even if you could find somebody, I mean, if you even get to that step, yeah, I mean, there's. How many screenplay writers are there out there? Everybody who thinks they can be a filmmaker. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's like it's the one thing you can do. You're like, I can get fade in for seventy five bucks and make it look yeah like something somebody should read and nobody will fucking read it. No one will read it. No. Yeah. It's tough. It's yeah. it's extremely hard thing to do. So that's why I ended up doing what I'm doing. Um and trying to figure out a way to make the movies myself because shit, that's kind of fun. 
Yeah. And it's yeah. kind of cool. And then if you get into it, yeah, they're shitty when you're starting, but then you get better yeah. and you get better and you get better. And then you start looking at it like, holy shit, we're close. Yeah. We're close. It's a great feeling too when you end up watching something and you're like, they're saying the words that I pulled out of my ass. Mm -hmm. That is a great, great feeling. I did, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the second movie I worked on was uh, called, oh my God, it was White Tiger when we made it, but they, uh, Death Fighter. Okay. And uh, it's on YouTube. You can watch that one, everyone. Um, it, but it, uh, like I had a 24 hour rewrite because the guy who was direct, my, my screenwriting mentor, who's fucking awesome, he quit. And uh, they were like, well, it, some dude had written a version of it and it was it looked like something that was translated by Google Translate. Okay. Um, <laughs> and like the guy, I mean, he was South African and he was a sweet guy, but like he had kind of pounded out a very, he, he didn't do a great job. And they it were like, rough. okay, we're not shooting mm -hmm. this. And they're literally, everybody's there. They're ready to make the movie. And I'm like, I can do this shit. And I got to rewrite it in like 24 hours and make it at least uh, the proper screenwriting format. And the words look like they were written by somebody who's, spoke english regularly right um and i watch the movie now and i'm like i wrote some of that shit Isn't that and cool? it's a great feeling it's an awesome feeling yeah it really is it's amazing i was watching these two guys because they're both got their own projects now that they're doing that i'm helping them with and chuck wrote one and sam is directing that the gpo documentary i can't wait to see it i've been Thank yeah you. i was looking at it that looks awesome yeah and i could see both of them it have that excitement at, at times in their yeah. own thing. I remember Chuck saying something when someone was with well, the first time we started filming one of his scenes and he's just like, Holy shit. And I just kind of breeze over it, mm -hmm. but, but he's always helped me make my movies yeah. that I've written. So I've already seen that. I know what it feels like. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. And now seeing Sam, you know, never doing a documentary before, never thinking about being a director before making a film. It looks it's fucking gorgeous cool. too. Yeah, they, thank it, you. Yeah. yeah, we tried hard to go for the cinematic storytelling. Yes, you done it. That's what we're doing. Thank yeah, how's say goodbye going? By the way, great. Yeah, we're halfway through production. Yeah, um, we paused to take care of a few things that everybody needed to take care of. We had some of our actors who had some paying gigs, and for all the money we're not paying them for say goodbye, we couldn't argue. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And they're taking care of those things. That gave Aaron and Sam a chance to move and gave oh, us a, oh, to God, move a few things hard. squared away and brutal. Yeah, yeah. so we're gonna be getting out schedules again to get everything ramped back up before my uh, my 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 the lovely lady who plays my teenage daughter in the movie who is pregnant mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. she bursts or gets so big plot change yeah, yeah. <laughs> I and I had a good one Dad I, I have something to tell you I had a good one <laughs> I had a good one just in case yeah it was a good pitch yeah but huh. we'll see how things go yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going to be great, I'm sure. Yeah, those movies are turning out really well. I'm very proud of them. Yeah, we watched The Outright. It's funny, I, I kind of peeked through it the first time because that's how I watch movies now. Cause sure. I'm a seven-year-old. Uh, <laughs> but my wife and I actually sat down and watched The Outrider like a normal film. Holy and, shit. Yeah, I know. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was quite good. My wife was oh, like, wow. we, we watched like the last 30 minutes of it last night. And she's like, because we both fell asleep because we're old. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. don't we, yeah. we don't get offended by that. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to finishing that movie. So Aww. yeah, so I, I'm like, that's, that's good. Like, yeah, that's great. Um, but that's it was good. it was good and really fun. I that's, enjoyed it. That's Thank you. awesome. Thank you very that much. is awesome. Um, yeah, what we only spent a few thousand dollars, and we didn't have anything when we started. We didn't yeah. even have an HD camera. Right. That's what we bought. Some lights and a fucking. Well, at the end, we had to spend the most money because of the fucking wind noise. I had to buy the blimp. Yep, we had to buy the, the blimp. That was the most expensive yeah. thing. Was that blimp? So it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. No, it's, it's not. Got, yeah, but you, know, you made it for two grand. So. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Like, it's not bad for that. No, you, no, yeah. it's super fun to make, yeah. and and the experience alone elevated our next films. I mean, that's that's how you do it. I mean, that's the only way to do it. Right. You know, I'm not jealous or anything that we weren't <clears throat> at the position we are now for. The Outrider, it's not, think, you know, I'm not mad. Think of your next film. totally film. jealous. <laughs> Stop living in your last film and think of your next film. Dude, I already am. I just got to get... Why is your you voice know? so high? I'm not. I just... <laughs> <laughs> because he's lying. <laughs> no. no. Why? I already just, am. You know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm super happy. I'm super Aaron happy. has written six scripts since he finished doing The Outrider, <laughs> and he junked them all. He's like, fuck it. I don't want to do any of those. I want to do something different. Uh, yeah, I do, actually, because the one I was really excited about ain't going to work now because of fucking COVID. 
screwed it all up. Yeah. I had a story, man. That he, was he wrote a beautiful what? story pre COVID. Yeah. A Wait. badass action fucking sci fi story about some shit. And you can't make it. I don't think it's going to resonate the same because everybody's going to think <laughs> it I won't did sell. it. No, I think it's going to be. You know, I don't even give a shit about that. I don't want people to think I came up with the idea because of anti-vaxxers. Right. Oh. That's what I don't want. You know, that's David, what I don't want because I wrote it prior to all this shit. Prior to everything. It's yeah. oh. David Lynch was talking about that when he did uh, Eraserhead. Yes. Uh, where he was like. He, there was a moment apparently like halfway through the movie and he was like, I, this makes no sense anymore. It's not going to mean anything. And he was wrong because he made fucking eraser head. So no, well, jam maybe. out, man. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe down the road when this whole bullshit ends, if it ever does. But still, uh-huh. I mean, it's a we'll be we'll be stuck with the stigma of like, was it? Well, oh, during the COVID thing, you just created the story. It's like you know, no, you know what you tell copy wrote that shit two months before COVID started. Exactly. No, it was no you know what you do? You tell those people who are like, you made this because of COVID. You're like, you watched it, and I don't give a shit. Nah, that's true. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. Because I like this. You know, and that's what I always say about bad reviews on Amazon. I'm like, thanks for your two bucks. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck them. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I, I bought it, by the way. I would like y'all to know that. What's really oh, bad yeah. is bad Aww. reviews whenever you know they didn't watch it. Yes. Like, like, that's what really sucks. The reviews that pop. <laughs> yeah. Like, that wasn't 20 even minutes the shitty part the... of the movie. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about those ones? Like, on, on IMDb, too. There's, like, somebody who just spammed us with the same fucking negative review uh, at least three or four times yeah. in a row. And they all show up on the IMDb page first. Right. So when you go to the movie and you see it, you see the same fucking review four or five times if you're scrolling on your phone across. Scrum. One star, piece of shit movie. Don't waste your time. Filmmakers should die. <laughs> who I mean, did you I don't piss off? <laughs> I like, don't even know. Who the it was. funny thing is, is they auto generated when we released the movie. Yeah, they did. And we didn't release the movie to Amazon first. No, it happened when we released the movie to the theater. Yeah. Oh, for our theater showings. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That blows. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. we had like, it on DVD. Motherfucker, you weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> we had it on DVD, but there was a review, yes. a bad so that's, review. That's what it yeah, was. That's and there right. was yeah. not we time. The we didn't have the. Um, we we were selling. Yeah, we were selling the DVDs through first. Amazon first, so they were putting them together for us and shipping them out. You could. There do was that no then. time for that. Yeah. So for li- them literally, to get it. it literally within the hour. <laughs> somebody put up a bad review of the right, fucking really? DVD and I'm like holy shit Amazon delivers within 45 minutes wow. <laughs> and you still watch the movie in 15 the world moves so fast man I know just, holy yeah. shit they just fast forwarded through that bitch it's like man <laughs> alive they got quick they were excited Wait, too bad I let them down no one, no wonder it sucked <laughs> you thought we were all chipmunks mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that pastor sounded really funny oh jeez there's so much going on I think about this stuff all the time lately. Just all this crap and these people and these things. I mean, yeah. what's going on in the world right now? What is going on? Mm-hmm. Anybody have any idea? No. No, no, no. Nobody? It's the shit, well, I mean, there's, there's I know, bro. There's lots of shit going on in the world. The problem is, is what do you want to actually pay attention to? All the shit going on in the world or the things that you can enjoy? Yeah. Well, I think about the things I enjoy, but they're trying to take a lot of the things I enjoy. And I am not a conservative person. But I'm also not this liberal fuck either that's on the far side. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's certain things that we sorry, all should are have. You that, are you that fuck? I, I am slightly that fuck. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, I am. <laughs> I'm slightly that fuck. <laughs> yeah. uh, Aaron is more than slightly that fuck. He's just not admitting it. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of. I'm kind I got of... off Twitter. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm finding myself because, you know, during the Trump shit. Yeah. Fuck that mother. Fuck, that was the dumbest, craziest shit. And all those people that like that stuff still to this day, they're r- ridiculous to yeah. me. You guys are fucking not thinking. Okay. And then you go to now to what we're dealing with now, and it's like, I don't like this cancel culture bullshit. Yeah. I can't stand it. I don't like that. And I don't like the fact that they're that there's there's something that stifles I mean, we talked about with Tom Skerritt, the imagination, that creativity, yeah. being able to be free about what you're trying to say. Like these stand-up comics can't joke and shit anymore. You can't yeah. say shit without some kind of drama. And it's like, if this show gets any bigger down the road, we could feel it. Right. Sure. And we're just being us. We're nice people. We're just having fun with people. I think that there's no animosity here. This is the part media. where you nod, Sam. We're nice people. You're supposed to be nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's like, well, kind of. You know what I'm saying, Steve? Yeah. I, no, I totally do. Uh, I think part of it is is social media in general. Mm -hmm. I think social media has a really amazing ability to take people and encourage their worst 
aspects right. in general. I'm saying something very profound, obviously, uh, that everybody doesn't know already. But <laughs> uh, I think that it, it literally, the algorithm kind of takes you and goes, okay, what's going to piss you off? Okay, can you say something yeah. that's going to piss somebody else off with your anger? Right. And then it grabs that and then just blows it out to everybody. Uh -huh. uh, and I think that ends up basically just creating a tornado of bullshit mm -hmm. that we all live in now. Yep. Um, but it's also good to remember that like every decade, every year has had cancel culture. You know. Yes. Every to a, to a degree. Yes. Uh, no, I, I mean it's uh, like you look at uh, Lenny Bruce. Yep. You know, Lenny Bruce went to jail. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Gen George Carlin went to jail yep. because of the shit they said. And yeah. The FCC jumped all over his ass. Back in the yep. mm -hmm. And you go, okay, well, that's where we're at. Yep. We're just one more decade of people getting their hackles up about something. And we probably should just chill out and have a drink. And yeah. I, I mean, I get that. And, and but I think about, like, like you mentioned, George Carlin or even like Howard Stern back in the day. <laughs> and yeah. yes, they had the, the, the institution trying to shut him down. But the sure. people weren't. Oh, yeah, they were. And, and not as much as it seems now. And that's because of social media. Now, I guess we see it happen yeah. in front yeah. of I think us. that's what it is. Yeah. It, you, you always, I remember back when I was a kid, you, uh, I don't think I'm too far off from y'all when you were kids, but uh, they had those guns that they were like, oh, God, people are going to kill each other with them. And they did. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but they were like, no, that can't exist anymore. And you had one million mothers or mad mm -hmm. and getting all pissed off about it. There's always been somebody to be pissed off about everything. It's just you don't have social media literally slapping you in the face with it constantly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like we do now. Um, right. They're like, hey, what's going to piss Aaron off? We're going to make sure that that's in his face because obviously that keeps his ass in front of his computer more often. You know what? You make a good point. Yeah. No, and that is a good point. I don't live this, by the way. I <laughs> I just want to, I'm not judging. I am constantly like, oh my God damn it. And getting into the computer more. Right. That's why I left Twitter. God damn it. You know what's <laughs> funny though? I look for this shit. I, me too. I do. <laughs> yeah. I have to find it. I want to yeah. know. I have to read those people's shit. Yeah, I, it's the bullying thing. Like, yeah, I think when I was a kid, like having a name like Eaton and being a fat kid, made me a little uh, sensitive to bullying. Um, and I just like now I'm like, okay, who are you bullying? I'm gonna beat your fucking, fucking ass. ass over it. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, and that's why I had to like step back and not do that. You had to, You didn't want to go on the dark side. If I can help, I it. get you. I get you. Yeah, that's what yeah. Sam would recommend. Not that's the type of person. Well, that's Sam would... where it can take you, honestly. And yeah. I've dealt with it from everything, from people that I don't know and strangers to my own family. So mm -hmm. I, I do know about that, and I do have a tendency to try to encourage um, not involving yourself in it because it can wrap you up in a bad place mm -hmm. a real bad place and you can go down a dark path with it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and not it doesn't feel good it's just not worth it when when you've gone through a few of those and you you've gone to that dark side in in the wrong way like you're saying and you turn and you find yourself being even more evil mm -hmm. and dark and nastier and meaner well i wouldn't I've, say I've, I've ever found myself evil okay i i have Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've, I've been down <laughs> yeah. that road. I've been but, the receiver. <laughs> yeah, you have. Receiver. And and a lot of other people have. I, I've been down that road. But here's the <laughs> kicker. When when you come back, like Rick Grimes said, you, you get to come back. You you can come back and, and figure out that, holy shit, now that I've been there and I've seen that darkness. You know, if you go in there with the right plan. In the right attitude, and that's what I was doing online back during Trump shit, because I would post shit. Yeah, it wasn't for me just because I had something to say. I literally went in there to see, like, well, let's flip the algorithm. Let's see what fuckers are going to respond to this. Because yeah. I want to see them, and I want to hear them, and I want to say something back to them to piss them off more, yeah. just to make it. Yeah. 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 Honestly, that's how Aaron, dumb it was for me, and Aaron, that's exactly literally. what Trump was doing. And I did the same thing he was yeah. doing back to the Trumpers. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. What's up? Why? Um, motherfucking why? Why? Why did I do it? Why? why did I, do it? I, 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 I have an. I have an answer. I have one too. But go Please. ahead. You first. Somebody give me an answer. That go for it. Aaron. Yeah, she won't up. hear me. You do. Shut up. Brain <laughs> chemistry. Literally, just brain chemistry. Just the feeling of going. I'm gonna punch somebody because I feel like I'm right and they're wrong, and it's gonna feel good to punch them verbally. Yes. You hope. Yes. Uh, 
and that's literally all that they're basing it on. It's it's just, and that's what the algorithm feeds off of. Yes. So I I have a tendency to like to put people Still on the, the spot, mm -hmm. on the spot, um, because I get I've been put on the spot many times in my life. So I like to do that in return, especially from people who, if you're gonna walk the walk and talk the talk, you better fucking do it. Yeah, but they don't care. Well, they yeah. don't care. And that's but the hard should, part. But if they, they have don't, no standards. But so if when they you have no standards. But if they don't care so to... much, why do they get so mad? Why did they block me? Why did they kick me off? Why? Brain chemistry. They could take it. <laughs> it's, it's... And I call them pussies. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean? and I, I hate it. I to do something fun. Are, I, don't, I, I want to do something fun. I thought we were doing something okay. fun. This is a great. Your fun and my fun. All right, let's go. Let's go. What do you got, Sam? Bring some fun to the show. Something funner than that. That's a great That's a great topic. I was okay. Yeah, I'd love to play a game. Let's play a game. Sure. We're gonna play. <laughs> okay, let's game. go ahead with your great topic. No, no, the topic's over now. What are you gonna play? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God, what do we got? I, we're moving on. Not moving on. Trump for five more minutes. Moving on. Yeah, no, we're good. moving on. All right, what do we got? What is that? Sorry, oh, I was he's just hitting I was his head on the making um, sure that my microphone still worked. I yeah, thought, I don't I know. I was I, talking, but nothing was coming out. I haven't heard you for a while. <laughs> it wasn't me for once. <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't kick the table. All right, Sam. What what game you got? I have a play? game for you guys. Oh, oh, shit. This is a different game. Is it a new game? Yeah, it's a new Is this going to be a game. new one of those games where at the end we say, fuck this game? <laughs> Probably. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> yep. Okay, what are we okay, doing? Okay, new game. All right, so I'm going to give you all a task. Each one of you is going to If I have, have to go do different... the dishes, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> okay, literally, each one of you is going to have a different task. Okay. 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 All right. And you're going to have to name something seven things or eight things if you're chuck Dude, what the and you're so gonna specific. have to recite them or name them and i want to see if you can so i'm going to tell you all what you get and then you're gonna go you get the seven deadly sins aaron Ooh. you get the seven oh, dwarfs wow. steve you get santa's reindeer oh, chuck <laughs> okay you, who wants to go piece first paper to write this down? Uh, yeah, <laughs> they absolutely. Come on, do. guys. All right, yeah, seven deadly be... sins. Let's. Uh, Aaron, you're gonna be first. Thank you. I'm working on it. <laughs> you got yours? I think so. Chuck. Okay. Um. Well, if you think Fuck. you got yours, then go. Dancer, prancer, comet, cupid, Donner. Shit. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I know them all. Hang on. You need the paper. I might. No. <laughs> um. Dancer, prancer, comet, cupid. That's only four. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> wow, who would have known being in the spotlight? I'd forget. I him. know it sucks. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Jingle All the Way running down the street. <laughs> Dancer, Prancer, Prancer. <laughs> <laughs> I, need that back. I need that back. Yeah, yeah, I, I got two. That's all I got. I Son can... of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. My Ooh. ADD is kicking up. I have a memory like a small child. Oh, you Man guys, alive. I can recite all these. Well, of no course doubt. you can. You just wrote them down recently. No, so I didn't. No, oh, I didn't shit. even write them down. I just and she wrote... had to give me the worst one. You're a <laughs> smart person, <laughs> and Sam. I tell you why. I she... apologize. <laughs> this is a bullshit one because she wants me to look like an asshole. Because this is from the movie Seven, one of my favorite <laughs> fucking movies of all time. And I can't remember them all. It's the only one I thought you could get, Aaron. God damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Just think of the last, like, nice. what did you feel bad about in the last couple No, I got, you know what's sad? You know? I, I, can, I can name you... all the reindeers right now. Think no about... problem. I can't. I got them all. Do you know the dwarfs? Because I got a piece no, of paper. No, bro, I don't watch <laughs> Disney. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, besides Tron, I never watched any Disney shit. Oh, God, I love that movie so much. Oh, me too, buddy. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, okay, then, I don't, I'm just going to go with the... If you can't name the reindeer, Aaron can. Yeah. He says. <laughs> Who the fuck are we missing? <laughs> there's eight. There's nine, including Rudolph. <laughs> oh my um, so God. you only got two. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it, but that is all that's, that's coming up that's with right it? now. That's okay. okay. That's okay. Two's Aaron, good. how yeah. many do you have? I got You're four. Seven. I got, oh, got four. four. Chuck, how many do you have? You have seven? I have seven, but I'll get the other one. Hang on. <laughs> Fuck I'm, feel, I'm filling in his sheet for him. Oh, you suck, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Are you No, no, really? really? Thank you, though. Yeah. 
Ooh, no, I got another one. I just got it. You I just can't got help it. him. Dude, I got he's it. Like, I know, you can't fucking guy. help him. He's our guest. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, oh, for fuck's over. sakes. <laughs> if it's Disney, he's got to oh, get on yeah. it. <laughs> All right, you time's up. Oh, Here. okay, I got five. I got five. You got five? What? All right, what'd you get? I got... That's wrong. I got wrath, sloth, greed, envy, and pride. Gluttony. Lust. Oh. Gluttony and lust. God damn it. I'm fat. I should Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. You know what? Fuck this game, too. Yeah. This is bullshit. It. All right. God damn Jack, it. Um, with your reindeer. I, I, I'm forgetting the third one now from my original. Well, stop of helping design. him. Which, so, yeah, I, I, I have Dancer, Prancer, Comet, Cupid, Vixen, Blitzen, Donner. I'm totally forgetting the. Dancer. I got the answer. Dancer is the first one. I said Dancer, Prancer. Dasher, Dancer, Dasher. Prancer, Dasher. Vixen, Dasher's Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Dasher's and Rudolph. Well done, Sam. All right. She the has four. the fucking answers. No, I do not. Tell her well done. They're you in my head. You're trying to tell me she didn't know this before. You I knew this. Did you just... Did you just did, did, I just did, did the ones just, I remember. He just anchored off where he... <laughs> I was like, I knew those wow. three. <laughs> all I have right. the worst random access memory of you, all time. You got like, the dwarfs? I knew... Which ones did I know? <laughs> uh, I knew Sneezy, Doc, and Dopey. Okay. And I was like, oh, the bummed out one. And that was <laughs> Grumpy <laughs> and Sleepy and Bashful. Chuck knew, though. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what he does. It's, yeah. And that's why we Sleepy, call him happy, creepy. grumpy, you, dopey, Chuck. sneezy, bashful, Doc. Jesus. Sleepy, I knew Doc. Happy, grumpy, I, dopey, Doc was like, the, sneezy, it's, like doc. it's like Rudolph, the one everybody forgets. Wait, Everyone say, that, say that again? Sleepy, happy, grumpy, dopey, sneezy, bashful, oh, Doc. Happy. happy! Fuck, we all forgot to be happy while playing the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comic, Cupid, Donner, Blitz, and Rudolph. Yeah, I forgot Dasher. Okay, yeah. And, all right. All right. all right, guys. Well, thanks for playing. Thanks for the brand new game, Sam. I can't yeah. wait to do the holiday version of this game. <laughs> I actually thought of emailing you beforehand and being like, please don't do anything to take some memory. Mm -hmm. I smoked oh. a lot of weed in my 20s, <laughs> and it's <laughs> those are the best the, ones because did we not weed. have fun? Did yep. you not have fun <laughs> trying to think of it though? <sighs> Not really. <laughs> he was like, Ugh. we could have all. You know what? We all failed talking at this. about Trump. <laughs> we all failed at this. We could have tag teamed this and done it all together, and might have come up with all the answers. Yeah, but that's cheating. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have helped y'all. It's not all. a team game. That's not it's, true. It's supposed to be everybody against everybody. Not. This is like a you know one v one. You know yeah. you gotta you get it. You know what, Sam? Going. Good game. Great I'm game, sorry so. I sucked at it. Yeah, <laughs> no, me too. Fine. Yeah. So it's who, fine. Who, I was gonna do the so see if anybody can recite the whole. Um, parents just don't understand by Will Smith. No, nope. this is because a story. I'm all about, about how I like, like to turn, flip, turn upside down. <laughs> I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you the how. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one, isn't it? No. That's it? I'll tell you how I became a child of a prince called Bel Air. That's pretty okay. close, yeah. That's parents just don't understand, though? No. Is that no. the same song? They yeah. said Bel Air. No, I said parents just don't understand. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Well, I guess yeah. I missed that so one. I, guess I misunderstood this one. Yeah. it. But we all, I thought we're all in the age group. We all know mm -hmm. that, but I guess none of us. I can't remember that. how it starts. Nobody loved Will Smith as much as you do. Oh, is that me? Because yeah. I don't remember it either. Really, I was so. actually watching his YouTube thing. Summer, summer, He's got three summer, new summer, episodes on YouTube one. right now. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's a summer time. Um, <coughs> And they're fucking amazing about his journey trying to lose that weight. I was watching it last night and I was telling Sam, I'm like, fuck, this is going to make you ball crying. Because you get to see a real raw... He's a fucking man. He's just a dude. <laughs> you know, he's Will Smith, but he's he's breaking it fucking down. You can actually see him go, I can't believe we're trying to make this fucking stupid show. I mean, literally, you're like, holy shit, that's Will Smith saying that? Literally. Like, he's in tears and shit. You should watch it. It's on YouTube. It's good. People are people. I mean, he's he's got something missing in here. Sure. You know what I mean? It's it's weird. Yeah. Well, it's really I'm weird. Well, I'm sorry, but weight is hard to lose just for anybody, oh, God, no matter yes. what. I mean, it is. You know, but like, it's, let's just be real. But it it's is. not about the weight. It, that's what's weird. It's something going on in his head. Yeah. He's, it's, it's getting... Well, it to, sounds like he's it, battling to well, lose it, the weight he's trying to lose. I mean, yeah, yeah, because he's got this thing about needing to win all the time and oh. needing to be the best because it's a protection thing because he's a coward. I mean, that's what he's talking about. That's it's deep. fucking interesting as shit when you're watching it. Like, oh my god! And he's writing his autobiography as he's doing it, so it's all coming out. It's it's mm. fucking badass Good guys. for him. I'm well, I thought you. it all came out when he had that show that with his I wife. I think that's what like, kind of got him started oh, on this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah the red that, that something or other. Red table. Yeah, yeah, the red table. Yeah. 
brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of tears there. Yep, 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 yep. I'm a guy who I have been overweight since I was like born, okay. and it's it's very difficult. And uh, yeah, I I give him credit for even talking about it in front of other people. That's that's hard. Yeah. Well, you're doing it right now. Yeah, but I'm not actually doing. So, you know, I'm talking about it, but I'm not trying to yeah, do yeah, anything yeah. about it. You know. I, that's actually a lie. I was, I, I have been eating a bunch of celery lately, and that's sadly not a joke. There's celery, <laughs> actually, Just, celery is good. No, 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 it is. I that's like why celery. I'm doing it. It's, you know, so I live longer and can see my kid grow up. But, yeah. yeah. You know. Just don't drink celery juice because, you know, the last thing you want to do is go into a catatonic state and vomit, you know, 14 gallons of green goo all over okay, your we house. We don't want to hear about out. that. That's, that's so. true. Chuck. That's yeah. very, very true. Yes. I don't want to do that. <laughs> how old so your, I how have old's your not... kid, by the way? Seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, okay. A, he's an awesome little dude. Got good a good you. heart. Good for you. Man. Awesome. He's, mayhem. Awesome. he's mayhem. He's <laughs> mayhem. absolute mayhem. Mayhem. Yeah. That's badass. I yeah. do not, um, I cannot identify with the weight problem the same as you, but I can the same as you because I actually, the other way around, like I was always the skinny kid, the crackhead, the Mm -hmm. whatever i mean i was called so many things and i think what people don't understand is it's it's quite similar mm -hmm. like our struggle you yeah. know like my struggle was quite similar in that people made fun of me i mean people yeah. would drop a piece of paper from you know in school and say this is sam and she fell out of a plane and it's going like, god <laughs> people are <laughs> you know, such like, dicks it's actually it's okay, really it's mean actually, you know yeah, and then really my mean. adult my adulthood i was it's accused clever, of man. um every drug you could imagine that has anything to do with not weighing anything yeah and you know so You're like no i have a metabolism or, yeah <laughs> yeah or sorry, anorexia bulimia yeah. you know all of that so i've been accused of lots of things and i think one thing that i realized when i had an overweight friend and she would talk to me and i'd be like i so get it because mm -hmm. so it's the same oh yeah it's it's quite the same in a different way hmm. And if you knew her diet and all the shit she'd ate, you'd hate her even more. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> no, and but that's, yeah, and that's why I have no friends. No one gets it. Yeah. That's not true. I like you. <laughs> no. You got a friend in me. Oh, no, no. Well, yeah, I no mean, more. if you, Disney song honestly, for you. if you knew what I ate, you wouldn't like me. <laughs> I will not watch what you eat. I promise you. I will not watch what you eat. Um, but no, it, it's true. People are kind of just the worst in general. Yeah. It's like any little thing anybody has at all. They tell um, yeah. They will attack. Attack. And Absolutely. it's just, it's a um, insecurity. It's so 99 little, yeah. point, okay. 100% of the so time. So this yeah. goes back to what I was talking about. So how does a person not attack back? fight back oh, no, you well, do. how do you, how do you just you let do. that go and i get what you guys are saying by just going oh i'm gonna be the better person oh no no and I, you I, walk away and you, shit. you know but being the better person doesn't make them stupid even though you i didn't them say down i didn't say they're stupid it's not about being a the better person <laughs> it's though. just fuck how do you do it it's you about don't. it's about coming to the understanding that whoever's bullying you or has a problem with you or saying those things to you they're hurting inside for whatever mm -hmm. reason. They they don't like themselves. That's I get, why I get they're that. picking on you because but they're pointing the finger at you to get the to feel better about themselves. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and then you feel scared. Like you're sitting here talking bad. about scared, how yeah. people had to deal. You had to deal with the same some thing. Oh yeah. And it hurt your feelings. What they did, and you just let it and let them get away with it. Yeah. How? Because why? Were, because <laughs> inside, I knew that they were already hurting more than I was. She's How evolved, do, Aaron. But but <laughs> like, there's a thing there that I just I can I can never I get full circle with it. To be someone to bully somebody like that, you have to be sick inside. You have to be sick. Okay. I'm not gonna become sick inside just to get back at them but for revenge or whatever. I, un I understand that. I'm not gonna be sick inside. But you inside. wouldn't get sick, sick inside. inside. You wouldn't get sick inside for standing up for yourself. I can stand but up the for myself the motive, that. The motive behind why you do what you do in your actions defines whether you're a bully or not. You see what I mean? So you attacking back a bully who's doing it out of spite doesn't mean that if you retaliate back in defense for your own pride and your own self-will. Look, I have nothing to prove. That's, that, well, I have I, nothing to prove to anybody. So if true. someone wants to say shit about me, let them say it. Right. I have nothing to prove. Now, if someone's picking on somebody else, I will stand up for that person because I will always stand up for somebody who can't stick up for themselves or who isn't able to at the time. 
I will always stick up for that person. Myself, yes, okay. I'm good. I don't have an explanation sure, to sure. give. I get I don't that. I get to that. I myself. totally get that. But then, if when you're sticking up for somebody else, then how do you do it? Easy. By people getting in their not, face. People shouldn't pick on people. Right, that but you, you're wrong. standing up to them, right? Yeah. Okay. How? Same way I would, I guess, if someone attacked me. Is it the same way? Is that Probably. okay to do? I mean, that's no, not okay. It's to not do the then. same way because you attack people. You are. You go below the belt. You say shit you should not mm. say. Well, that's that's, fu- that's it's, it's you don't like, have to do that. You don't have to do that. With a big old smile it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind yeah. of like fire and ice. I will. I, you attack people's weaknesses. That's yeah. wrong. Well, because they're trying to attack well, yours. They're trying to attack yours, though. Wait anyway, a second, Steve. Go ahead. You're I, for I, I completely agree with you. In that I, then. <laughs> I, I feel great about what you're saying, and I would love to be that way, but I am not. But I think that if you are going to attack somebody, attacking their strength is kind of silly. Dumb. I'm just saying, like you hit them you, in where it hurts. If you're okay. if you're gonna punch them back, I you shouldn't punch them back. She's sure, right. That's what she's saying. You shouldn't do it. But if you are going to punch them back, yeah, you know, go for the throat. Correct. Uh, because bullies shouldn't bully either. Yeah, I mean, you, you know should, what I mean. You should be evolved such a like you. But... Move. It's such it's a cowardly, cowardly to bully move. someone who's lesser than you. Well, well yeah. Okay, the small well, guy standing up to the big dude that thinks he's and no joke is a badass. you feel good about yourself. Yeah, and that's that the brain chemistry thing. Um, that's 100%. I mean, like, it makes me feel so, good to punch somebody who's been punching other people. But does it really accomplish anything? Probably I not. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. All I can say is it seems fair. It does seem fair. And then I feel okay with it. Yeah. And that's all it is. Chuck, do you have anything to say today? Yeah. Come on, <laughs> like, chime in fuck? on this. <laughs> did did I do something I to you, Chuck, to... on the way in? Oh, God. No. no. God, no. Um, going back around to everything that we've talked about today. So I have, I became more of a Christian the older I got in my life as opposed to how I was. Because I used to be the person who I, 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 I never, you know, dealt with bullies. I didn't give a shit what anybody had to say with me. Mm-hmm. But I'm a Sam. I used to snatch people up by the throat mm-hmm. for fucking around with people. Yeah. A lot, which is why I actually found religion, I think, as I got older in my life. The last person I snatched up wasn't to retaliate. It was to protect the person from getting in a fight. Valid. Mm-hmm. Was that Aaron? That was Aaron. Yeah, oh. yeah that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the last, I mean, other than doing things when I was working or something like that. But yeah. I mean, other than that, the last time I got into an altercation with somebody where I, sna- well, for the most part, when I snatched them up in violence, mm-hmm. um, I was in my 20s. I've stopped doing That's that. A so good run. there are so many there are so many things in life that I have witnessed and seen stupidity acts, acts of um, violence and me- both violence and just all out meanness. I guess you could say. Yeah. yeah. That it doesn't matter when you go yeah. off on a tyrant. I don't care. All right. You know, if, if something if something is directed at me and it hurts, I let it be known. But other than that, you're having a moment and you'll get over it. Yeah. But as far as other people go, like the dickhead who you know called me a sheep. Oh yeah, I forgot and I was, yeah, I was sheep. like, thank Jesus is my shepherd. Thank you. Yeah, I remember that. And that pissed him off. Yeah, it was, it was like, why oh, yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. didn't you go at that guy? And I'm like, that, yeah, why? I, well, I, you hit him in his weakness, though. Like in a way, you like that person obviously thought they had you down, right? And you're like, no, I'm I'm just gonna, you know, uh, was it judo? You know, or, or mm-hmm. yeah, you're just like, okay, I'm going to move you over here now. Yeah. And that's going to piss you off worse because you're like, I didn't even get hurt. Was I in a fight? <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good thing. I, my eye is literally like Terminators. You know what I mean? Where I could see the fucking <laughs> triangle and z- yeah. pinpoint right where it's fucking like, that's what I got to say or do right there. Now, let me ask you guys this question. This is for you too, Sam. This is serious. Uh-oh. We, Uh-oh. We, we say all this stuff here and I get it. These are all verbal things we're talking about. What if somebody comes to your home? Because we were just talking about that in the car with your mom, about that situation. If someone came into your house, what the fuck are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and take what you want? Are you going to fight to protect your family? What are you going to do? Well, it depends. Okay. Is that Sam's answer? Absolutely depends. If I had someone to protect, what are you going to do when a burglar breaks in? Okay, if I had someone to protect, I would protect that person. I would protect the dog. I Even would protect the... Eva. I'd protect whoever I had to protect. But would I protect myself? I'd probably just be like, mm, take my You'd put yourself in harm's way to protect everybody else. Is yes. what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, F- perfect answer. I love that. And that's what you do, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. But 
the person breaking in your house obviously is in pain, obviously has all these problems. Yep. Why is it okay to do it then and not when you're out there? If they're attacking verbally, why can't you attack them verbally? If they're coming in physically in your home and you attack them physically and that's okay? Look, Aaron, because... I'm just asking. I'm just trying to figure out. An eye for an eye is not... The, that has been going on for centuries, decades, forever. And but, we're all blind. An now. eye for an eye, <laughs> yeah. it does not solve anything mm, mm -mm. it never okay. has okay. and it never will okay. okay never you don't think that has to do with why everybody's no, so soft nowadays no i don't okay. oh. fair, fair enough am i soft no i'm just saying in general just you know because how people are being offended so quickly and easily by things in words and everything else you don't well the answer is yes i'm very soft but am i soft that why do you keep saying me? you <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about in general. Well, I'm putting, I'm trying to okay, put myself enough. in the way that you're saying. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Okay, I'm just asking a question. Steve, what about you? Risk benefit. I'm like, okay, if my kid's outside of the room, I have my, <laughs> this is bad. Like I would have, I have my editing <laughs> computer that sits in my room. I'm like, I'll put a foot near the door. Uh -huh. But if my kid's out there, bye. You know, yeah. it's, it's. I'm going to find a way to get my kid safe. Okay. Uh, okay. But I mean, overall, do I really care that much about my shit? Not really. You I know? gotcha. Like if they, if I knew they were literally going to stay upstairs, I've got a rifle and I could just hold my son. This is really specific. Uh, but like if there was a way <laughs> to. What kind of rifle do you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, you know, if you could find is a way register? to just. Nobody's going to die up here and I could just hold it on the stairs and be like, get the fuck out of my house. Right. That's probably what I'll do. Okay. You know? But right. shit is shit. You can replace shit. Yeah. No, that's true. That's my Blu ray collection, though, no, I'd be a little. <laughs> You'd be pissed off. Not quite the level of my kid, but, right. you know, uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Charles. What about you, Charles? I was. <laughs> I spent most of my life protecting people, and I'd, I'd put, I would put myself, uh, Steve, you're in my house. If somebody came in the house, I would go over the stair rail to stop whoever's coming into the house. Right. Bottom line. I wouldn't think about it. I would just react. I've always been reactionary when it comes to that kind of thing. Yeah. And one of the things I had to learn growing up, too, was I had to stop being reactionary when it came to things that happened to me. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes sure. that was a bad thing. But yeah, no, without a doubt, somebody comes to my home is different than ta somebody talking shit. Talking totally. shit is, is, is just talking but you coming into my home has entered a different level. This is my fucking home. This is where I live. This is where I protect everything. That's why strangers aren't allowed to come into my house. Right. So what, are, you, are you saying then words don't really matter? I it doesn't first. really matter, right? Right. So why does it matter if I talk back to people so much to you guys? Why, why is it really matter? Because oh, the danger level isn't there. I, I didn't know we were raising our hands. Sam, oh, you oh, go ahead, Sam. Sorry, Sam. Yeah, put your Sam. hand up first. Yeah, Sam. Words matter. They absolutely matter. When you're... When you spend a great deal of your time with somebody and that person cuts you down, mm -hmm. over a period of time, that's going to cut you down. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. That's valid. That sure. matters. Sure. That matters. So words about, matter. But, uh, from, they matter in a way. Yes, they do. You have to rise to you, above that. I understand that. But yeah. when you only have a certain person or people that you hang around and they're negative to you, that can bring you down that can and make that makes sense that can, makes total can, sense i'm not damage. arguing that i'm talking about yeah. motherfuckers you don't know fuck that like oh yeah exactly and that's what i do on fucking facebook and you guys say i need to be better but i'm you, like who fuck them you you incite war but there's but, but, <laughs> on facebook like but there's the problem is is there there are times where you entice it you're not retaliating right. you're enticing yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and that's, that's and that's, that's what she's saying point. don't be the person who entices it but why, but why not the you play the devil's advocate but who cares it's just words who gives a fuck look who cares well obviously we just want you, you to do. be a better person Aaron. <laughs> but, but i just but I'm a fine. better person <laughs> but I'm god fine. is that that hard no. but i'm so fine. for him <laughs> yeah. no, I, no i think the thing is is that i'm a different person obviously in chuck and sam and they think that Obviously. they're better people than me because of the way they act and the way I don't. Is that what you're saying when you say to be who a better said, person? Who no. said we're then better you, people than you? What do you mean by that? No, we're just saying you say you be a better person. Have, you don't are have you guys? to. No, because if you're enticing, if, if you are enticing the argument, you are not. You you are creating the the the, the, the bad environment in which you're starting. It's so the, you're, it's the, so uh, if you start with the bullying, then and I mean, you started an argument with somebody, and within two comments, it turned into the most personal attack and i was just like scroll <laughs> let's face it like, aaron Jesus. you are a bully you are a bully i bully bullies 
Okay, well, you bully. That's the period point blank. You bully. But I there's think, a difference. And you don't oh, always bully bullies. Well, wouldn't it be good, though, if we just all realized that when you have the come at me, bro uh, <laughs> feeling when you're in a conversation, you're like, look, we're not actually attacking each other. This is tennis. I'm fucking with you. You're fucking with me. Right. We can just keep our other friends out of it. And just wouldn't it be a nice way if you just be like, look, I'm just going to argue with you for a while. It's going to get angry. But who cares? Sure. You know, because obviously it's like a game people are just playing between each other. Really. For the most part, it yeah. is. It's it like is. debate class, right? Yeah. 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 Totally, Nine totally. times out of ten. Fuck debate class. I cannot stand debate yeah. class. Yeah, that's why she. <laughs> my wife's the same way. Yeah. I, she's like, she's like, why did you really feel like you needed to be right with that? I'm like, oh, because I was right. Right. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> so uh, you use the because. because. <laughs> now, now, 20 seconds later, a couple minutes later, I'd be like. I was not right, and <laughs> sure. that was kind of dumb, yeah. wasn't it? And I'm both of us are right. But you're living that. your life. You're living and learning and trying. And, and wasting just, and you're, time on the internet. But though. you're also yeah. being honest about how you feel. True. And are you really? I, I because so. did you go back on there and say you weren't right? No. Okay, God, I no. think so. No. And Aaron doesn't do it either. Oh, you're talking about that? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, getting I mean, online? No. Look, okay, you let's... said, do you... Never mind. Well, I was you talking know, about actually, like with his wife and stuff. He, oh, he just admitted yeah, no, he was I say wrong. I'm wrong all the time with that. That's yeah. just like, I'm, yeah. I yeah, mean, you I'm thought he was right. He was wrong. Okay, gentlemen, I'm going to, I'm going to jump to a quick perspective thought. So okay, Halloween good. season, I was watching all these old horror movies, things you don't think of. House. We're going to talk you? about movies? Yep. Do you guys, awesome. ever, <laughs> do you guys watch <laughs> House 2005, 2008, the remake had Michael Madsen. No. Had a whole bunch of the 1980s. No, I, I like, I like William Katz one. Well, sure. But I mean, it was a totally different story. Okay. No. I didn't even know that existed. I didn't either. There's a movie. There's a whole point of this thing where they're going into the memories of these people and fucking with them okay and the, and this guy is a writer okay which is what resonated with me when i was watching it because he's sitting there typing and his daughter's like daddy take me out and go skating and like, it's, it, it's your mom's turn okay and he's sitting there screaming on beating on the window going go play go with her go with her because of course the daughter dies she falls in the ice and she dies and the guy's Spoiler. And, and she goes out <laughs> no the movie's fucking 15 years old if you haven't watched it yet who gives a shit um <laughs> But anyway, that's the whole point is the guy is sitting there beating on the glass saying, who gives a shit about what you're typing? Go spend time with your kid. Right. That's Sorry. so accurate. Okay. And, and then so that's the same thing. So if when I'm sitting there and I'm spending too much time on Facebook, now granted my kids are all adults, but now I got grandbabies here. Yeah. So now I turn around and I'm sitting sitting there on Facebook and I realized one day I was like, I am scrolling, looking at these fucking reels and looking at a bunch of nothing. Yep. And I got one kid sitting here who wants to watch him with me. And I'm like, Hang on. This is inappropriate. You shouldn't watch this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, put down the fucking phone and pick up the kid. Yeah. I and agree with and you. That's, and that's the thought process. It's yeah. like, you know, the, the people in your life matter more than any argument with a stranger or a acquaintance or whatever that sure. you could have. I and live, that's what I'm trying to strive towards. Okay. I, I live vacillating between those two things constantly. Like, I, I actually feel most of the time just exactly as Charles has succinctly put it uh and then i live as an asshole you know messing with people semi-regularly uh, i try to really cut back though seriously last three months <laughs> i've okay. cut a lot and it back uh but you have it's, the same addiction as aaron <laughs> yeah 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 it's it's true it's brain chemistry i'm telling you it's like it's like my, part of my brain's like yeah, just punch them they punch somebody just get them it feels good um but i've tried to pull back and go hey you know life's living around you yeah. you should probably do more of that yeah. and do like film and you know that and that's that's been my journey the last few months. Uh, I'm going to tell you a quick story about a guy we know. We all know him here. And he's... Cripple. I, I don't know him. Yeah, well... Yeah, no, go ahead. Us, us three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah he's, the hosts know yeah. <laughs> When he was a teenager, Sam grew up with him. And yeah. He, yeah. he broke his spine. Oh. He's, and he's in a wheelchair. He got right? in a car accident um, in the 90s. Yeah. Back in the day. Uh, he was in the Outrider. He was the guy in the wheelchair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, great guy. Great guy. Amazing guy. He got kicked off of Facebook for 30 days because he was standing up for someone and being racist against someone he knows. Yeah. And he jumped on Facebook and attacked that motherfucker big time. And Facebook kicked him off. Okay, this is a guy in a wheelchair, not a threat to anybody. But he did the right fucking thing. And I'm sorry, you guys, but for what he did, he's a fucking soldier. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. 
And that's the same feeling I get when I'm doing what I do online to dumb motherfuckers. Mm. How did- that is it, period. I feel that way. And sometimes I'll taunt these bullies. I'll taunt these assholes that think they have the fucking nerve to go out there. And it's not like I'm targeting them personally. I've seen what they've posted. I've seen what they've said to other people. So I taunt them by putting a fucking and throw it in the pond. And guess what? They bite. And when they bite, I'm like, I got them. And that is that simple. So you guys got me wrong. I'm fucking with them. You're right about that. But am I doing it out of spite or any kind of real purpose? Not at all. I just want to make them feel stupid for a minute. That's it. That's it. And I think it's fun. <laughs> I do. I think it's I, fun. These guys think I'm an asshole, but I'm like, it's fucking funny. Because it's not just people that are bullies. It's a, it's a lot of people that don't deserve it. Okay, fair. I, I don't think you get what I'm saying, but it's fine. The, okay, pro- the, well. prob- the problem with this conversation is, as we know from other shows in the past, sure. there has been an element of your life in which you were a harsh asshole to somebody else in the room. Well, so Sam, yeah, and that's why stuck. she doesn't get it. Yeah, she I don't get it. She gets stuck get in that yeah, because she gets stuff. in that little thing. And but every time no every fun. time you get... Ex- gentlemen. Yeah, I'm no fun. <laughs> the, brain, the brain chemistry gentleman here. Yes. Every time you start attacking somebody on social media and you get that thrill... Mm-hmm. Think about what it would be like to go shoot hoops with your kids. No, totally. Oh, for fuck's sake. I do that too, motherfucker. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't agree more. I, I, and I think that's a brilliant way to look at it. I, I think you're very smart in that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Chuck's got it all figured out. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Yeah. Let's get back into the uh, interview. Okay. Shall we? You know, we've been, we've been testing things on this show, Steve. We, Go ahead. We, we, patience. <laughs> patience. Well, yeah. no. It, Virtue. It, it's about bringing up topics with creatives other than just the norm. Like, we, we sit here and we talk about your films or your movies or acting or musicians or whatever. And that's great. But we got a lot to say about different things in the, on the world that's going on. And it's really cool to have someone else's perspective in the room. You're an atheist. But at the same time, look how much you agree with Chuck, who's a Christian. I do. It's fucking beautiful. I agree. You see what I mean? It's a bold thing, not a it's, religion thing. It, it, and that can happen. We appreciate Moles things that we may not have sometimes, too. Yeah, that yeah. can happen. And you never know. We would never know that if we didn't talk about all this crazy shit just mm-hmm. now. Weird, yeah. huh? I, I, I think it's good to talk about these kind of things that are uncomfort- semi-uncomfortable in a room yep. where you can like actually see the person, say, smiling or joking with you as opposed to like online where you just kind of go, I'm going to take it exactly how I want to take it, which is angry and fuck them, and I'm going to yep. make them hurt. And yeah, it's not healthy. And you know what? It's if not they, healthy no, It's not healthy. <laughs> if they saw my face when I was making those texts, they wouldn't even have got mad on Facebook. Nope. They, they know I'm the same way. Yeah. Nope. No, because or, I was sitting there like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they wouldn't have. It they is, wouldn't have got mad. They would have got mad. They would have probably punched you in the face. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no, it's, yeah. It's verbal tennis. It's, it's silly. It, it's dumb. It's, it's, it's dumb, dumb. And it's just tennis. Yeah. yeah. That's that's how I look at it. Yeah. Anyway. Volley. Super fun. I love it. I love this stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm the I'm white so guy glad. in the room who knew what tennis terms are. Sorry, my bad. It's good. It's good. It's good. So, Okay. You got your 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 fantasy film thing yes. you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Is there what are you gonna do? Are you gonna uh, where are you in the production? Uh, right now, I, I cast a couple of actors, uh, at least people I want to work with for, I mean, I would love to do the whole film with them. Sure. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be shooting a couple of scenes uh, just to try out the process quite a bit. Okay. Um, and hopefully it'll work out. I, 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 I've directed people before, so it's, you know, it's really getting my feet underneath me again. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a couple of spots. It's funny, when I did uh, Death Fighter... Uh, I did a bunch more directing and writing and all like I think I they put me as a first AD which is if you know what a first AD is the idea of me being one is a joke I'm the least <laughs> organized human being ever created um, but that was like I was assisting the director so I guess that's what I was doing um, and so really just trying to uh, get the process down yeah. and it's all gonna be on a green screen you know uh, a lot of probably miniatures, uh, a lot of 3D work, um, just building a lot of those assets. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a long journey. I, one of the big reasons I really wanted to be on a podcast other than just to talk to film people uh, is to just kind of get out into the community a bit more yeah. and see, you know, it's things like the Outrider, like 
I would love to do the little special effects that you guys did with those. You know, like that's yeah. that's incredibly fun to me. And not having to worry about everything else, just being like, oh, you just want me to turn somebody's eyes black? Yeah. I could do that. And just do you it. Know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Little little things like that I would sure. enjoy. So if anybody would like to, feel free to find me on Facebook. Uh, but not Twitter. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that, that kind of thing. Like I just, I want to get more into film. Like I had kind of my nursing... Uh, I really, when I left uh, LA again and went to Washington, like it was a very uh, dark period of my life, you know, sure. kind of going, I'm going to give up my dream and just go be a fucking grown up. Right. And uh, then I got here and then I'm like, oh, I kind of still be a grown up, right? Yeah. I can still do both a little bit. Yeah. And then, yeah, so trying to find people and actually communicate with human beings again would be good. That is good. <laughs> That's it. That yeah. is good. And you're, how are you liking it up here? Oh, I love it. Okay. I, I, I actually bugged my wife. Uh, she's from a town called Marysville out here yep. okay. originally. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, her family all lives near in the area. And she's like the sweetest human being of all time. Uh, and so I tried to bug her to come up here like 12 years ago, back when like, well, 15, God, I'm getting old. Uh, we just had our 16th anniversary now. Uh, so like I tried to burger like right after we we got together I was like no Washington's awesome screw LA right uh, and then when we moved up here permanently like I dig it I just I I would have been cool living up here yeah right good for you buddy good yeah you. you uh you you gonna try to squeeze in any other of your own films or just you're you, thinking about tagging on anybody who could I, use you anybody who could use me I'm really good with uh for right now I think. I decided when I, I started coming up with this thing when I started nursing school. So like seven years ago and it started just like as me going, I'm going to do like a little goofy sci-fi Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, you know? I miss Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> and then of course. It, Fuck, yeah. I love that comic. And like in my form, because I'm, I'm, you guys know what feature creep is in gaming terms? I don't uh, know. No. Oh, it's no. a thing like where you start out with a little game and then you're like, we should add this on. And then add this on, and then add this on, and then you end up with a project that doesn't finish for like thirty years. <laughs> like, like Duke Nukem, uh, I forgot what was it, three D, three D, Duke Nukem, three yeah, D. Yeah. And it came out like fifteen years later. Like nobody fucking cares. Right. Um, <laughs> and, but, uh, I tend to do that with any project. Like it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And so now I'm like, I'm not making it any bigger. I'm just going to finish writing the damn thing. Right. And uh, it's a plan to be a five. Uh, to, uh, like I wrote all five films in it. Mm -hmm. um the first the first film it's been through a bunch of drafts so it's like getting close to actually being able to go uh and then the further four i'm like well if i can finish the first one i will rewrite those but i know where it's going um so that'll be my thing is just i said if it takes me 30 years to finish all five that's cool right that's fine um but that's probably what i'll be working on well, that's on, the problem on, with that's, Even George Lucas took 10. <laughs> that's the problem with the creative mind. It's never ending. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And you definitely want to do this as far as either anime or as far as the, the, the style of... Rotoscoping? Yeah. So yeah. The rotoscoping set with the animations and all the different... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's... I think uh, the, it's funny. Way back when, when I very first came up with it, actually far before that, I really wanted to do a like a Viking film that way. Okay. Uh, and I never got to do it because, you know, life. Um, but I really wanted to do that. And then, like, I, that was the first thing I was like, I'm going to do it just like Fire and Ice, except for a good story. Right. And, like, right. have you guys seen it? I have. Back Fire and Ice, yes. 1981? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, never heard of it. I love... <laughs> I love it. Yes, I love great. it. It's but great. the story is what it is. Yeah. Um, and I was like, God, you know, if somebody would have done a really great story with that style, I think it would have actually took it off. Right. Like people would have done it after. But like I watch it now and I'm like, God, this is so basic. Wasn't heavy metal after that? It that was the same year. It was the same year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was and a big heavy, one too. Heavy metal was like way more traditional animation. Though. Yeah. It yeah. Was. It was. And yeah. I think they had like one or two scenes that had a bunch of rotoscoping and mm -hmm. they're fun. I just, I like the style. Yeah, it's cool. Um, but it's... you could do it so much better now. Right. Like, and so I wanted to give it a shot. And Well, your YouTube clips are actually pretty cool. I can see what you're trying to do and the animation looks good. So if you're able to put that together and, and make a full story film out of that, that's fucking, that's Thank amazing, you, buddy. Appreciate it. It really is. I don't know how to fucking do that. I, wa I watched, <laughs> I watched your, um, not tutorial, but you creating the. Um... Oh my gosh! I was it a drawing? Yeah, when you were, yeah 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 when yeah. you were doing the um, 
patriarch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I was like, hey, you need some voice actors for that. I'll take that little fucking patriarch, <laughs> fucking piece and of I, shit. And that was another thing. Yeah, the the VO work is great in it, by the way. Oh, thank yeah, you. It's super clean, super. Yeah, I really great. tried. It, it was sounds great. A shit ton of blankets. Like that you. was my thing. Yeah. Good for you. I'm like, I could have gone on Amazon and like bought foam and saved myself a yeah. bunch of time and refolding everything. Yeah. But I didn't. No, dude. Um, it, yeah. You figured it out. Yeah. You, it worked great. Yeah. It worked great. Yeah. I so. thought of it like a, like a comic book in a, you know, like a movie version yeah, of a that's comic exactly book in, no, totally. in a way yeah. with, you know, like, um, it's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it was like. Remember, to me. remember those books you would open when you're a kid yeah, and you could move them and the about. things would come out? Yeah. That's the yeah. kind of feeling I got. Oh, the yes. pop up books. W totally. It, well, yes. What I was going for originally, you, you guys ever uh, hear of, excuse me, I should not gender things. Um, you're fine. Um, uh, <laughs> y'all. Y'all. Hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> y'all ever hear of. That's, that's what um, I was talking about. Jack Kirby. <laughs> The, the artist Jack Kirby. Jack Kirby. Like, created basically all of the Marvel Universe you see on billions of dollars worth of movies now. Okay. Um, yep. He was the artist, and, like, I love that guy. And he was a, a chill dude from Brooklyn, I think, or the Bronx. I'm going to get it wrong anyway. In New York somewhere. Okay. And, uh, he, but, like, the shit that would come out of his brain was insane. Right. And, like, he came up with, like, The Eternals, which I haven't watched yet, but I read all the books. And, like, okay. uh, oh, God, what's the other one? Of course my brain's taking a walk right now um, but he had these like crazy gods and and all this stuff and i was like i'm gonna do something like that mm -hmm. and that's what i wanted to shoot for so it's funny you say that it's ex pretty much exactly what i was shooting for i just wanted to go with something that would be I'm like if it looks a little on the hinky side but i can do stuff that's just nuts i want to do that i think you could do like a mini series with it that's pretty much what i'm doing yeah yeah that's, it's yeah it's, it's the journey of one dude and it goes like i said if i was to do it all at once and it's like depending on how long covid goes if yeah. covid goes longer i may end up pre-prepping the whole thing because being a nurse i can't really shoot easily yeah. because i'll end up you know a bunch of geriatrics <laughs> may die right um <laughs> not cool dude um so uh, depending on how long it is, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to get the first one in shooting shape. And if COVID's still going as nastily as it is now, made up a word, um, uh, then I guess I'm going to prep the next one and the next one. And then I may end up shooting them all at once uh -huh. um, because it's just going to be a bunch of makeup and a bunch of green screen. Right. And that's going to be all of it. And yeah, I can do it. You know, uh, originally I was like, I could do it for like 50 grand maybe a hundred grand. I could shoot the whole damn thing. And I'm like, I could do it for 10, you know, like I was trying to figure out just how cheap I could get. I got green screen. I can do this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, no, that's a lie. Yeah. Originally it was like, I can do it for a million. And then, and then, yeah, just mm -hmm. it went down smaller and, down. and smaller. <laughs> and yeah, it just takes longer, you know, yeah. Yeah. it takes well, longer. Yeah. Things look hinkier. Um, but it's fine. I don't know about yeah. that. I mean, you can make things look pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it just, you it, you it's, just yeah, yeah. You have it to just put takes... time and effort into it. And... Well, and a story goes a long way. I think if you got a really, really good does. story, and people will overlook a lot of shit for is... a really good story. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. People will overlook weird things on screen mm -hmm. as long as the story and the audio is good. Yeah, it's so accurate. Yeah, so yeah. accurate. I um, agree. Yeah, I the agree. audio specifically. I remember uh, y'all see that movie. Um, see, I did the y'all. Uh, the uh, <laughs> monsters. Uh, it was a, um, a movie. God, maybe eight years ago. It's just called Monsters. Um, had is, is like. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just gonna think. Is that that? Is it that island? Or am I thinking of something else? It, Might have been. It was. It was basically like a road trip movie that just happened to have an alien invasion yes. that would take place like five years early. Yes. Dude made it for no money, mm -hmm. uh, but he was like, "All I have to do is have great audio." Yeah. And he was like, "Everything the audio you can." I watched it after I heard that. I was like, "The audio is amazing." Yeah. And the the you turn the sound off though. Hinky. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Visually. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. yeah. I yeah. think I know the movie you're talking about. Yeah. It's really, good. Yeah. Too. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Dude ended up doing uh, Godzilla after. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know exactly Gareth, what you're talking about. That's Gareth it. Edwards. Yep. 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 Wow. Well, yeah, I agree with that because there's um, this YouTube. This always got me. There's this YouTube, this person on YouTube who plays with my little ponies and actually. Hi, hi, I'm going to church today. Like, literally. Okay. <laughs> okay, and plays with ponies. And she's got 
millions. But the story was good. Millions <laughs> of yeah. subscribers. Bunch of little kids, but still, like how clever. But the audio is like, yeah, story it's time. freaking perfect. Yeah, it's like, it's, like it's amazing. Time. Like, I love it. it's awesome. Yeah. But she's just playing with her hands. The hands are in the shots too. She's playing with ponies. Isn't that crazy? I'm talking like this. Man, but do you, but do you see her mouth? No. Because she's not in the shot, so she no. just has all the playful. Yeah. She yeah, probably she does just, it all in well, VO or something. However after. she does, I mean, however she, I don't know. But. Yeah, you know, maybe we're it's, trying too hard. Everyone loves it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're trying too no, hard. without a doubt. <laughs> I should, I, I, I'm not kidding you. I thought of that at one point. I'm like, I have to finish this before I croak. Yeah. Um, and like, like, I'm just going to take some popsicle sticks. and, <laughs> and, just, and just gonna, uh, <laughs> My son, my son could totally just crayon me some shit. And right. Really fine. But dude, you have a vision. Yeah. I do. It's a story that needs to be told. Yeah. It's a sickness at a certain point, but it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's a good thing. Aaron it can identify thing. with that. Yeah. Absolutely. In in many ways. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm excited to see this. So you got to keep doing it. Yeah. Ditto. Yeah. I, I feel the same way about you guys. Uh, I can't wait to see what you do next. Um, even though I'm not a faith-based person, I will <laughs> happily watch <laughs> Say Goodbye. Right. Yeah, yes, you will yeah. enjoy the I will enjoy tear jerker of Say Goodbye, and then you'll be like, what the fuck did this guy just write next? Because yeah. you're gonna everybody's gonna shit a brick when they go from when we flip the switch. Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh it was funny, you guys were talking a few episodes. I ended up, I, I have a lot of time in a car, I'm a care manager, so <laughs> okay. I have a ton of time in the car. <laughs> okay. Um He's not dead like, yet, come on. Nope. <laughs> um, it, you guys were talking about something. You were like, "Man, somebody should do like a faith-based film that like people curse." Yeah, have, and, have some f bombs yeah. in it, make it well, real like, life. I would watch that shit all day long. You like, see what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. Uh, what was that movie? Noah. Like, yes. Did you guys see Noah? No, I, I'm like, I didn't. I haven't either. But oh. I, I thought you watched it, Sam, with Eva. I thought you and Eva watched it. Okay, you guys can watch it whenever you want. It's on Voodoo. I know it is. I thought that's why Sam and Eva though? watched it. Yeah, I own it. Yeah. Like, they have yeah. they have access to my Voodoo account, so that way they can watch all the shit. I've all the movies. Yeah, I'm like I'm like I, if 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 they made Christian movies like that, mm -hmm. I would watch Christian movies all day long. Yeah, uh, I love so the stories. Good. I love yeah. the stories in the Bible. I think they're fucking great. There's yeah. always a lesson in every one of them. And they're all fucking yeah. badass. You love Samson's yeah, is badass. I love that one. You'd love Noah because the fallen angels are rock monsters. It's Dude, dope. It's Lord of the Rings yeah. except for in the Bible. That it's sounds awesome. fucking cool. Um, um, but yeah, if, if people did more of that, like I kind of thought that with Outrider, I was like, I was watching it. I'm like, it, it, it reminded me so much of the prophecy with, um, that's my faith based oh, movie. That's yeah, as far yeah, as yeah. I can go. I'm like that movie. I love when me it came too. out. I watched it a hundred times. Exactly. I loved it. it was badass. Um, yeah. Fucking monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, I caught that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh my God, this guy totally watched the, the prophecy. Oh yeah. Um, I did. It was one of my favorites. Yeah. I love you more than Jesus. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Ego Mortensen, man. Like I remember watching that. I'm like, ooh. I Best fuck fucking devil movie. in a movie yet yeah. to this day. I and don't give a shit. Al Pacino was even like, Jesus Christ, he was a great devil. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, yeah I hear you. That trip. Uh, but yeah, I, I actually love faith based, faith based things in general. It's just like when you watch movies and they end up like um, Hallmark movies. I kind of die inside. That's the, I, I know, just can't do it. It's hard. It's a hard <laughs> It's a hard watch for some yeah. people. I, I, well, I don't know how many. I don't know what the. We're going to find out though. We're, I'm trying to make it. For Chuck is pretty, and and capture the feeling that he had in his story, as much as possible, and and still bring some sort of realism to it, and and it does have a different feel. I I mean I've cut it, I don't know. I think I'm almost 15, 20 minutes into the cut of the film. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like a faith based. No, film it until doesn't. Certain conversation topics come up. Yeah, it it, it feels more. Is it because it, it feels like a family drama. It feels it's, like a family drama. Like, does it feel like there's stakes? Like, there's actually thing like things matter because that's the one thing. Like, when I've watched, I, I have family members, and you know, I watch things with ninety year old women. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, you watch I these bet things. You do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that's my jam, yo. Um, but it, it, it usually they don't have any stakes, and like stakes are everything. You're yeah. like, if you if you don't have anything anybody cares to actually see happen or not see happen, yeah, turn the thing off. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. Right. Yeah. I think that the best thing about Say Goodbye is honestly the cast. I think the cast um, really, yeah. gosh, and they're not being paid. Like some people are so highly paid to do this stuff and they bring it 
Whoa. they set the scene. I mean, they set the tone. They're amazing. Like they really shine. And I think that's what makes this movie besides the beautiful scenery and sure. everything, the way that it looks is beautiful, but the, the cast that we picked is they make you care. Whew, yeah. I, I guess what, yeah, yeah. I, I I'd have to agree completely that they, they're worth, they take the words from millions. the paper <laughs> and do something to them. Yeah. Where it, it sounds more real, mm -hmm. you know, and even conversations that I would read in his script where I'm like, well, that's a little hokey God shit. And, you know, I'm turning it. The next thing I know, when we have a certain actor who gets it yeah. and then they say it, yeah. and I'm like, fuck, that didn't even sound like I wrote it. And, yeah. Or that how Chuck wrote it. And I read it again. And I'm like, damn, I didn't even read it like that. How does How'd that they feel, do that? Doesn't that oh, feel that's, great? That's it's fucking amazing. cool. Yeah. It's amazing. And they all do. They it. get it. They all do but, it. Yeah. But for some reason, the story connected with them. One, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you talking about the, whether or not there's stakes in the movie and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and 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 for everybody who doesn't know us out there, I'm going to give you a little spoiler to the movie. Is there's a part of the movie where you know, um, Brian, Aaron's character in the movie, is the shadow of doubt. I mean, he is the best friend who's know? an atheist. Um, but the whole point is, there's a moment in this movie, and we it's it's one of the last scenes we just shot, where after his wife hears what's going on and the stage that everything is really at. And the fact that, you know, he's in denial. My, my, my best friend's not going to die. He's fine. He'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she takes him outside and she was like, whatever you have to say to this man or this family, you fucking say it today without saying that. Yeah, for it, yeah. Right. Damn it. He slipped yeah, up. But he was it. like, no matter what you have to say to this family, you say it. And watching that scene, I was just like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good for the day. It's, you guys did that perfect. She did that perfect yeah um yeah i'm good but that, that's those one of those things it's like you know for a dinner scene i mean it's the whole thing is it happens in one a day yeah um it, it, but the that, whole movie takes place whole, over a day correct oh wow mm -hmm. okay. because that the whole aspect of say goodbye is it's a dinner party for this man to say everything he wants to say to all these people who are important in his life oh um, not realizing that they actually have to say the things that they want to say or need to say and right. um but yeah once when they did that scene and knowing that that's something that's he's as a character struggling with for that character to actually open his mouth and say things without wanting to offend anybody at the same time, believing his friend's not going to die. Yeah. Then yeah, it's just, so there's stakes. Yeah. There's yeah. stakes. That's in great. Different ways. Yeah. It's uh, well written. I, I didn't, I didn't think there wasn't stakes. Sure. I get it. I, yeah. I get it. No, 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 but great. it's just yeah, like, but yeah, yeah. talking about, you know, the actors and the cast and what they bring. And it's just like, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> that's, that's I know you guys hate it when I say this, but that's part of the reason why I took myself out of it because I wasn't I did not see myself fitting the movie the way that these people did. They they were the movie. They brought it. And I'm not saying anything bad about myself. I can act. It's I'm fine, but I didn't fit this movie. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I just kind of took myself out because I knew I didn't and you know what? The girl you guys picked mm -hmm. to take my place is phenomenal. Like I couldn't She's have, really I mean, and that was, that was just proof to me that I just, it wasn't for me. Yeah. And so, yeah, your cast and crew on this movie is, is incredible. I do have to say that. Well, I can't wait to see myself. I mean the movie. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. wait to see the movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, I'm in, you're like, I'm in focus, right? I, I, good? Yeah. I don't regret um, taking myself out. I don't. I yeah. think well, do you I like made the right decision. Really? Um, no, nope, I hate it. it. So, yeah, <laughs> I hate no. it. And no, and these people's hearts are in this movie. And I think you have to be for this movie. This is, it's a faith-based movie. I mean, you yeah. have to be, your heart has to be in it. Aaron's heart may not be in necessarily the religion part of it, but his heart is in movies. The story And making movies. Yeah. So he can bring it just as well as, you know, the other people can. Sure, I, I hate it. acting and I really don't mm -hmm. like religion. So I'm, where do I? <laughs> Why am I here? I can I do Why crap services, please? <laughs> hey, yeah. wait a minute. Were you faking it through you, the outrider? Were you faking it through the outrider then? No, She's been so faking different. it or drinking it through since 19, no. <laughs> is that the only time you're faking shit? Mm. No. Oh. <laughs> She's a good actress, though. Very good. The louder she gets, the more she's lying. <laughs> she remembers her lines very well. Ooh. Oh, um, man. <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about syntax, too. It's like you know, how, how, it's, how it's delivered. Oh, um, man. Ooh. Uh, right there. I, I yeah, was baby. When, when I was Wait. working. 
Jeez. Wait. No wonder yes. you don't get are laid. You still, are you all right, Chuck? Easy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Easy. Easy, partner. That was great. All and right. done. Make me a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. 364 days a year. <laughs> Hanging in there. Um, yeah, wait. Shit. Everybody get out. <laughs> yeah. She's going to be home soon. Yeah, we got to go. Happy anniversary. Um, Happy, no, I'm kidding. She's still got a half hour, 45 minutes, whatever. Oh, okay. Steven, what, you guys are on. I'm on your time, so you know, <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, it's been a it's been a blast hanging out. It's with been you, so Likewise, fun. Um, very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you too, dude. Um, I hope your first podcast experience was lovely. It was fantastic. Thank <laughs> awesome. all of you so much. I told you we're a big black guy. He's, <laughs> he's going he's gonna to go home and he's going to blow our shit up on social. He's like, these fucking people. <laughs> oh, man. We just, you know, ah. like I said, this show is about just being real. And we just talk about everything we can possibly think of or whatever pops up. So um, it's nice to have you guys come in and be a part of it with us oh, every, every week when we do this. Every week, every fucking week, everybody's been fucking great. And it's amazing that so many people are listening. And I don't know. I just think it's cool. And we're being, we're, we're able to be us. If we argue or fight on the show or we have our perspectives or whatever, I don't give a shit. We all, we all have a right to fucking speak. Totally. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's you why know? that's why Aaron shut up earlier and said, "Hey Chuck, you haven't said shit all day." I know I, it bothers me because you're sitting there shutting up the whole time. I'm like, Does it really bother? Because Aaron speaks more than any of us. I do. do. I do. I got to. You got to fight for. Your... If we hang out more often, I promise you, I can talk <laughs> at least at the same level. Oh, I, I get man, I don't shut up. It's amazing. <laughs> me neither. Yeah. I, like, I don't know. Dude, I could die tomorrow. I got a lot of shit yeah. to say still. I got opinions. <laughs> <laughs> But does Bullshit. anybody really want to hear him? No. Who gives no. a shit? I don't care. <laughs> nope. I don't care. Turn it up louder. Yeah. My wife, my poor wife, she hears so many of my opinions. It's amazing. Aren't they good for that? They're so good. Yeah. They're so nice and patient. That poor woman. I know. Yeah. I feel bad, too. I, Sam, I feel bad. I get it. I sit there, and I'm talking sometimes, too, and I sit there, and you're just patient. And I'm like, I Jesus know. Christ, how long have I been talking about this? Oh, so wait a second. Let's, I feel let, bad. Let's back up for a second. So a month and a half, two months ago, we had a company meeting. And in this company meeting, Sam turns to Aaron and says, you talk to me about movie shit all the time, and I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This has now launched a four to five times a day that Aaron calls me to talk about movie shit because Sam doesn't want to talk to him anymore. You know what, though? I, I give we Aaron started a company. Credit. No, no, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get you real credit. Because it, it multiplied because Sam's like, I don't want to talk about movie shit. And Aaron's like, fine. <laughs> yeah, I was just called Chuck. Hey, but Chuck, you yeah. changed I just did your some cool behavior, shit. Aaron. I like, know. good job. That's, that's. I respect this woman a lot. I love her. That's... I mean, that's what I do. But it's not easy. There's no, a transition Sam, there. Sam you gotta make, fucking Sam make good eyes, not she, weird eyes. She never makes good eyes. She just she's not she's not a fluffy woman like that. She's never the woman that's gonna go. Oh my god, thank you. She's not that way. That's what I love about her. She's not like that. You're not. And I think it's fucking badass. <laughs> I do. I think it's badass. She's not fucking like, oh, cheesy shit. That's why she wouldn't be in the fucking Hallmark movies. She wouldn't be in the Faith Face movie. That's not who she is. But you know what? Inside, she gives a fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not fluffy. No. Did you hear that? You're not. You're not. <laughs> no, well done. no, ma'am, you skinny. Not. Yeah. You're so no, skinny, you stick out your tongue, you turn thinking. sideways, you look like a zipper. Yeah. I heard a guy at the bar one time, since we go back, I heard a guy at a bar tell her, you should have a sandwich. And I want to, <laughs> you, you, you want a sandwich? That's what he said. He said, can I buy you a sandwich? Yes. And I know what he was implying. And I said yes, and he didn't buy me one. No, because he was saying how skinny she was. Yeah. I wanted to knock that motherfucker out, but I no. didn't. I didn't. I didn't say a word, because that was her job. And a couple of times I ended up saying stuff at her job. You fell she got in down trouble. The street. <laughs> she got in trouble. Yeah. So it was kind of like I had to control myself. Like, God damn it. That's that bullying I mm -hmm. don't like. That's well, me. This is why there was no bullying. reason for him to say that. This is why it's bullying. He offered to buy me a sandwich. I said, mm. yes. He didn't buy me one. That's bullying. Yeah. <laughs> he was talking like, shit. She wanted I wanted, a fucking sandwich. I wanted it. Yeah. He didn't buy here's it for the, me. Here's so. the problem, motherfucker. I'll eat both sandwiches <laughs> and nothing will change on yeah. me. But you could buy me a sandwich every day. Ooh, and I man. want you to. <laughs> maybe well, that's one, what I'm talking about. Maybe Please one day. Please buy me a sandwich. <laughs> you can buy me a sandwich if you want. You know, maybe one day I can figure this out. And I'm not saying you guys are not wrong. I've, I've, and we're going to end the show here. So, but I'm just saying you guys are not wrong about the way your perspective on life. You're not wrong. Thank you. I get what you're saying and doing. You don't get me, though. 
And you don't get my perspective of why I do it. You guys have your own perspective for a reason, right? But I have mine. And everybody has their own thing that they have to either get through or that's the reason they're fucking here. That's how I look at it. Now, I was given the life I was given when I was a kid, the parents I had, the losses I felt and dealt with, the trials and tribulations of everything that I, bad choices I made, the things I had to learn the hard way. And there's one thing in me that I just realized that I can't help but but be, and that is to be that guy that is willing to stand up and say something to somebody when no one else will. I don't know why, guys. You asked me why earlier, Sam, and I all I can tell you is I don't know why, but I feel it in my bones and in my gut. And it's so hard for me not to say something to people sometimes when I'm looking at them and they've just got this gall and this 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 audacity to speak and do what they say and 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 hurt others around me and they and they say things that are lies and you're just like what the fuck it's so hard for me but i'm trying i'm trying to get to that point where i can go eh, it's not that big a deal sometimes i can say it sometimes i'm like eh, let me just say a little thing you know, <laughs> you know so, i totally agree with you but before i say that to you yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to see if the Kill Bill sound in my head could go away before my mouth opens. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And that's what I got to try to figure yeah. out. But, you know, I don't know if I can. Yeah. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. It is what it is. We're all just people trying to figure our shit out. Moment by moment basis. It's Everybody's fine. got something they got to figure out. Yeah. If I hang out with people that are more like me, I wouldn't have to figure anything out. Unfortunately, I don't like people like that. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones you argue with. Yep. Yeah, fuck those. Fucking, I hate fucking people who are I like hate those me. those guys. Those fucking ain't. Those alphas. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those guys. Hate yeah, those guys. Sam, this is being recorded, so hiding your face while you make faces into your screen. <laughs> your face on the screen. Oh, my God. I just saw it. All right. Steve, absolute pleasure having you on the show. Likewise. Thank you Thank for joining you. us tonight, my friend. Yes, I want to see your films. I want to see your, your web series. Whatever you make of it, I can't wait. It's going to be fucking cool, buddy. Likewise. And if there's any way we can help you, please let, let us know. Yeah. We'll do. Yeah. And, right. and likewise, genuinely. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got a lot of rotoscoping in our faith based film. Say goodbye. Um, we got to make sure that there's an aura always around uh, Aaron because he mm -hmm. wants more lines in the movie. Well, I'm going to use green screen now. And back in the day when we did your walk in Kaipar, yeah. that was me rotoscoping frame by frame right. around your fucking body across oh, the water. That. Yeah, that sucked ass. Green screen's a bitch. Yeah. Like people think it's like just drop a green. I'm gonna stop because I know y'all got to finish. But like That's green screen fine. is not as easy as people. Think. It's not. Oh god, no. it's tricky. Yeah. You better it's... light that bitch right and get the shadows oh. off, bro. Oh, uh, the favorite thing, our favorite thing about Kaipar is I was younger than I still had hair, oh. but not as much as it seemed like I had. Right. So there was a scene where he was he had to add a storm front coming in, and the storm front kept popping across my fucking growing forehead. That's right. And he was like, dude, I don't know. Chuck, you got the, the clouds in your head, dude. Yeah. I couldn't get the fucking, <laughs> the green screen reflection. Oh, man. You had, a, you oh, had a green that's, that's shine right. on your forehead. Yeah. I had and a, it picked it. <laughs> la last story, I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> I had a guy who was um, might have used drugs regularly, who was a... <laughs> might, might, have. might have. Okay. Um, who had a horrible twitch to his eye. And what would happen with certain scenes, he'd be pretty okay. But then like his eye and his face would twitch in one of the films that I made. And he was in the film a lot. And <laughs> one of the things I had to do was to get rid of every twitch in his face and uh, like replace, eye, you know, take an eye from another yeah. brain and all that. And it was a pain in the ass. But oh. now I watch it and I'm like, yeah, he looks like a normal human. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Man. That's that's yeah. a lot of fucking work. That it is a lot really of work. was. Jesus. Yeah. That's a skill. It takes skill. Wow. Well, you keep doing your thing, man. You yeah. too, man. Yeah, and let us know how things are going so we can actually help maybe get the word out a little more, too. Right on. We'd love to do that for you. Yeah. yeah. Very cool, man. Very cool, Steve. And if you need some good voice work, Sam hates acting, but I'm sure she'll sit in front of a microphone for you. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate it, Sam. No worries. <laughs> Chuck, you want to close this out, buddy? No, I'm having fun. Let's keep talking. No, I'm having fun. Okay, too. fine. No, we should probably wrap it up. <laughs> Steve, thank you for coming over to my house and hanging out. Thank you. I really, really appreciate you coming to the studio, um, sharing your life journey in filmmaking, nursing, wiping old asses. Um, <laughs> what else did we talk about? Uh, Lots of things. Um, we really did. Uh, yeah. Aaron, Aaron's ego, um, both of your guys' banter. Uh, Sam's sensitivity and non-fluffiness and of course for some reason again today we talked about Chuck's 
Pooping. Dealing with C. diff. <laughs> yeah. Your asshole. Anyway. It's okay. Thank you, Steve, for coming over and joining us today <laughs> on Around the Reel. Um, we You're look very forward, welcome. We look forward to seeing what you have to bring to the table. Get together with us. We want to be able to help push you and promote whatever you're doing or even possibly help you in your experiences of what you're going through. So please reach out when you're ready. And everybody out there, remember, think hard because you're thinking anyway. See everybody later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning Wait. in. Remember, everybody, think hard because you're thinking anyway. Oh, for the love of Christ, both of you guys. He just cut me off, though. Just cut me off. Yeah, nobody, yeah, because, nobody needs to hear the old intro. Okay, well, outro. I'm going to cut you both off and say thank you for listening to our show. Thank you for tuning in to Around the Real. That's great stuff. Yeah. So why did they uh, even tune in in the first place? I don't know, but they're glad they did. Yeah. I think it's because we're trying to inspire people. We are. And have fun with people. People that are artists. Creatives. Yeah. People that are out there trying to make a living with their art. That's a beautiful thing. That's what we're doing. They're yes. crafty. Yes. yes. So have them tune in. And how do they get on our show, Chuck? You can get on our show by going to our website. Please visit us at cccentertainmentgroup.com. Click on the scheduling link. link. That'll yeah. send you to me. Yeah. Sassy Sam was going to get you all lined up on everything. I'll hook you up with a day and a time. Sometime in 2021 or 2022 because it's filling up fast. So if you want to get on this show, get on. I highly suggest get on it. you start clicking your brains out. Come be our guest on our show. We'd love to hear your story. We'd love to hear it. Make sure you come visit us. On Amazon Prime and OP Prime. Oh, come yeah, watch, watch our Outrider. movie. Watch our movie. The, the Outrider. Outrider. Yeah, you can watch Marcus Ford kick some fucking ass. Oh, please. This was a perfectly good take until you said until that. Until you said that. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for <laughs> tuning in to the show. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>